What's up, guys? It's Fears. Fears, audience, audience, Fears. What's going on? Happy Saturday, guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Fears has had a pretty good Saturday. I've had a pretty good Saturday. Uh, very busy. Very busy. Went to the post office, went to the grocery store, and I was trying to get all this stuff done before the storm hit. It's been storming pretty much all day except for like a gap of like two to three hours. So it was it stormed before the gap of sunshine. Then there was a gap of sunshine, and then it's just, and then it's still storming out there right now. So it was before and after. So I went to the grocery store, went to the post office. Uh, I went and got some lunch. I had Chipotle for lunch, and I hadn't had Chipotle in quite a while. So yeah, so good stuff. And then I uh, filled up my tank for gas because I got I guess I got church tomorrow, and I was almost on E. And then when I came back home, uh, I I uh, I edited two videos. And I wanted to apologize uh, for the contest video screwing up. I'm assuming this is what happened, guys. I'm assuming this is what happened. I'm thinking that because it's been storming almost all day, maybe my internet cut out. I have no idea what happened. I Scouts Honor, I, I watched the video before, and the audio was fine. I upload it, uh, and I make it go live. And then towards the end, it just kind of crapped out for like a few seconds, and then it and then and then it came back in. I'm thinking maybe because of the storm, it like cut out my internet. I have no idea. I really can't tell you. Uh, I mean, sometimes there's glitches, you know, with uploading a video, but I honestly have no idea what happened. Now I know some people are not going to believe me, and that's okay, because Quentin and his little uh, butt buddy, a smash, and all those other idiots. Saying, oh, we don't believe you, Fears. Another lie to the lie list. It's not a lie. That's exactly verbatim what happened. So when you watch the video, it's perfectly fine all the way through. And then like the last 30, 40 seconds, it just craps out. What's up, Pixel? But I'm not going to take the video down because pretty much everybody gets the gist of it. And it only crapped out for like five or six seconds. So now you guys know all the rules to the contest. So Pixel, everybody else, I, I hope you will uh, submit uh, a meme for the contest because I, I really want to give back to my fans. Three prizes you can potentially win for first place, second place, third place. Uh, so far, the only people to submit has been the dude. The, the dude submitted two photos, but... Uh, I said you can only submit one. So the dude, you're going to have to pick which one. Or or I'll pick which one. And then Yakov submitted one. So I'm waiting for everybody else to submit. So anyway. But yeah. But yeah. I heard the contest was canceled and something about Joey running one. Joey's running one, but basically, Pixel, this is what happened. Those idiots got me so mad last night that I canceled it. And then I thought, well, no, I better not cancel it. I, bet, I said, just go to sleep, you know, sleep on it. And then in the morning, I pretty much, with a clear head, wrote in LC's Discord and my Discord and said, I'm not going to let those idiots destroy my contest. And so it's back on. So hopefully that clears everything up. What's up for 10 stories? All right. But yeah, it's been raining here all day. Like I said, it's th the only time it wasn't raining, there was a gap. There was a gap in between like two or three hours where it was not raining. And I should have uploaded my video then. But I'm I'm thinking because of the storm. I really don't know exactly what happened, why my why my audio, like, it literally was the weirdest thing. I watched it before. I kid you guys not. And I hope you guys believe me. I, I know some people are not going to believe me. But I swear on my life, this is what happened. I watched it before, everything's fine, and I edited it while it was raining, and then all of a sudden I uploaded it, and it was raining and lightning and thunder, so I'm thinking maybe because of the storm, maybe, I have no idea, I'm assuming, maybe this is what could have could have made a, a glitch. I made it live, I'm watching it live, just like with everybody else, and it gets all the way to the end, and it just craps out for like five or six seconds, so I really don't know what happened. But I'm telling you guys, 
That's what I think happened. But I really don't know. Anyway. No, I really don't know. Anyway, I finally got some uh, some stream time back. So uh, if LC is available, uh, I'm going to uh, invite him in. Or maybe I'll invite Pixel or I'll invite uh, Visions or somebody else. So, yeah. Pretendster says, yeah, those Florida storms come out of nowhere. They do. They do come out of nowhere. But I'll pretty much pretty much pretend story that it's been raining all freaking day. The only time it wasn't raining, like I said, the only time it, the only time it wasn't raining, there was a gap like of two or three hours. And that's when I went out to the post office and the grocery store and I got some lunch at, at Chipotle and all that. Pixel said, uh, I saw Evil Dead uh, rise this morning. Lots of fun. Uh, but, but you'd hate the gore. Uh, it has loads of blood, eight out of 10. I don't hate gore pixel. Just to clarify, I don't hate gore. I hate a lot of gore. Like if there's a little bit of gore, then that's fine. That's fine. But when it's just like buckets and buckets and buckets of it, then it makes my stomach queasy. You know, like some of the best horror movies in the world only had a tiny bit of blood. Halloween, my favorite one, Halloween 1978. It has blood in it, but barely. It's all it's all like it's all like shock factor, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. Yo, Lord Visions, what is up? What's up in the his house? Uh I'm waiting for my coffee to brew. So if I have to skedaddle just for a second to grab my coffee, uh, but it's almost brewing. Whenever it stops brewing, a little click goes off, and then I'm gonna go get it. So big shout out to Pretend Stories, Pixel, Visions. But yeah, so Pixel, just to let everybody know, uh, I went to bed early last night because I couldn't stand those fucking idiots. They got me so pissed off. It took me like 30 minutes to calm down. I had to call Randall. I was like venting to Randall. And I was like, I'm not going to let those fucking idiots ruin my contest. So I went to bed. And um, plus I felt real bad. Visions told me, that he bought like $200 worth of like art supplies because he said he's going to paint his meme and like, I guess, mail it to me or send me a picture of it or something. So I was like, oh shit, well, now I feel bad, you know? So, so the next morning when I had a clear head, next morning I made myself some coffee and I sat at my breakfast table and I was just eating some toast and I went, no, I'm like, I'm not going to let those idiots like ruin my contest because this is like one of the very first contests I've ever done. So I'm like, I want to follow through with what I said I was going to do, you know? So the contest is still on pixel. So all the rules to the contest are in my discord or Quentin's discord, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then all the rules are in that video that I made on fears, man, 26. So, yeah. Let's see here. Uh, pretend stories and pixel says howdy visions. Vision says fears. PST. PP. I love all those abbreviations, buddy. Yeah. So that was the first video I uploaded today. The second video. I'm sorry. I uploaded the fears man video first. And and then and then I did and then I did the contest rule video. So let me give you some backstory on the on the deleted scene. Uh, Fears Man 5, Randall and me made that, more Randall, but that was supposed to be, I came up with a concept though, that was supposed to be the end of Fears Man 5. Me and Randall were watching it, and, and then either I said it or Randall said, you know what, we can come up with something better of an ending. The ending was supposed to be like 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 it always does, like, you know, he saved fears man saves the day. And then they talk in the security office for like three or four minutes. Then he jumps out the window and he transforms into fears man. And he's up, up away. He crosses over the earth and then he smiles into camera, puts his fist up and he's up, up away. And then something crazy happens to him in space. So I think it was Randall's idea. Like what if like, after he puts his fist up fears and he's flying away, like the millennium Falcon just like flies by. And then he kind of looks at it and kind of shrugs his shoulders. Like, what the fuck did I just witness? So it was it was, it was going to be that. It was going to be that. But then a couple of days later, Randall was like, either I said it or Randall said it. I can't remember. And said, we can do better. So we came up with a better ending to Fierce Man 5 
you guys be the judge. Whenever the final product comes out, the final cartoon of Fears Man 5, and you guys watch it, let me know if if the ending that we chose was a lot better than the, than the deleted scene that I uploaded today. It's a pretty funny deleted scene. I thought, well, everybody likes Fears Man, so I'll just throw it up. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Vision says, I also saw the new Evil Dead. Uh, I think you're right, Pixel. The amount of blood was my favorite. Uh, part aside from the from the title card yeah i'm just like when it like pixel and vi and visions i guess that doesn't like turn your guys' stomach like i barely got through uh hostile one because there's so much gore and blood and all sorts of crazy shit like some guy just standing there like burning that chinese girl's face off i was like why the fuck am i watching this it was pretty crazy and then i got i only got about halfway through Hostile too, and I said I'm done, and I'm turning it off. So I do like horror movies, but only with like a little blood. I'm all about the suspense and the fear, and like all the like. I'll give you an example. Like all the cool kills in Jason are like Fred, the way Freddy does it. That's just enough blood. But if it's just buckets of blood, it just makes my stomach queasy, and I'm just like, eh. That's why I've never watched any of those Evil Dead. But Pixels told me that the first Evil Dead and then the Ash one isn't too bad. So maybe I'll watch the first two. But if the third one, I guess that's the third one in the series, Pixel. If if if, if you tell me it's got way too much blood in it, then I won't watch it. Let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, pretend stories. To, wait, hang on. Uh, I need to watch Fears Man 2 through 4. I think I saw one but couldn't find the others. Oh, they're all they're all on there, pretend stories. They're all on Fears Man 26. I wasn't sure if they'd beat the blood from Evil Dead reboot, but they uh, sure did try. So is, is it a third one? Is it a third sequel to the original two? Pixel, is that what it is? Um, Chicken Wizard says, do you still need Luck of the... Wait, do you still need Luck of the Irish? Oh, I've got Luck of the Irish, Chicken Wizard. It's over there. Um, I, I found a bootleg copy of it online, and I bought it. There's five now total. Oh, really? Oh, I guess five with the TV show. Oh, no, six with the TV show. Anyway, I'll be right back. Um, my coffee just got done, so I'm going to pour myself some coffee. So I'll, give me one second. Give me one second. All right, here we go. I finally decided to use my uh, my my Mario mug. Finally, all right. And I got my new Florida T-shirt on. Right on. Let's see here. Uh, where did I leave off? There's Evil Dead One and Two, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead Reboot, and then this. Yeah, but then it would be six though with the TV show because I know I know you told me they made a TV show about it. Oh, the show I didn't count. Well, with the show, it would be six. So, yeah. And it's a modern version, but you don't have to. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry, Fears. I found episode two. We'll watch after the stream. Yeah, it, it, literally pretend stories. If you write in Fears Man episode two, Fears Man episode three and four, they should pop up. I'm almost positive. Almost positive. Yeah. But anyway, I just wanted to apologize. I don't know what happened with the upload. I'm going to keep it up because pretty much I said all the important shit that you guys and the rest of the fans need to hear. And it only crapped out for like, I don't know, six, seven seconds at the end. And then it came back and said, then it had me going, uh, well, let's have a good stream. All right, guys, good luck. And then, and then, the, and then the video ended. So, uh, I'm not too worried about it, but of course, Quentin, He's a liar. He didn't watch it before. I'm like, were you here? Were you here in my apartment when I made it? No, you weren't. So fuck you. I edited it real quick because I just wanted to make a quick video, a quick announcement. I watched it once and said, all right, audio sounds good. And I'm guessing because of the storm, because it's been storming all day, except for that gap of like two or three hours. It, it rained before the sunshine. So when I woke up this morning, 
it was raining from like 8 or 9 when I woke up to about 11. And then 12, 1, 12, 1, and 2 was like the sunny area. That's when I went out and did all my errands. When it hit 3, as I was driving back, that's when it was storming. And it's still storming out there. And I uploaded that uh, announcement video, I don't know, maybe an hour or two ago. So I'm thinking because of the storm, my internet cut out and it messed up YouTube or it glitched. I've had glitches before uploading shit. I remember one time I, I uh, my upload like failed like twice. And then on the third time, like ages ago, like two or three years ago, the third time, finally it fucking uploaded. So he knows it's a glitch, but of course he's going to bust my balls about it. Because he's an idiot. Just like his little um, butt fucking friend uh, smash or whatever the hell his name is. So... I just said, whatever, Quentin. I said, you can believe me or not. And he's like, oh, I added it to the lie list. I'm like, add it to the lie list. I don't give a shit. Fuck you. Anyway, today we're going to be reviewing. This is based on a true story, guys. I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty cool. Megan Levy. And then my friend at work suggested this, so I got it. And I've had this one for a while. I just... This one, this one's been on the pile over there for a while. This one has got John Travolta and Robert De Niro in it. Uh, killing season. So I'll review. I'll review these two, and then some new horror movies are coming out, and I'll take some horror movie questions. And I got a whole bunch of other stuff. So yeah. So Monday or Tuesday, I should find out. Hopefully. Uh, if I, if I get the time off from work, I took off, like I said, about a week and a half. Cannot wait to go visit Enzo and my mom and my grandma and my mom. I recently talked to my mom. She's doing good. And she said, grandma is trying to grandma. My grandma's kind of sick right now. I mean, she's getting old. She's almost, she's, oh, hang on. I know this. She's 89, about to be 90. So she's getting up there. She's getting up there. So. Uh, my mom called me the other day and she's like, thank God your grandma started like gaining weight. And I said, well, where, I said, what was she at? And then my mom's like, well, she was at 73, but now she's up to 85. And I was like, oh, well, that's good. At least grandma is feeling better and she gained some weight. And so, yeah. So hopefully she feels better soon. Hopefully. And then I finally heard from my brother. He's been busy. He's been trying to sell his house for like the longest time and, uh, he's looking for work and stuff, but he's he's doing all right. And I said, will I get to see you when I come into town? Because he lives all the way in Kansas City, Missouri. And then he just drives down every once in a while to visit my mom and Enzo and grandma and all that. And he's like, hopefully I'm in town. I said, well, if not, when I get in town, I'll give you a call. So, yeah. Um, Visions, I already went to vstock.com. They got some of the ones on the list, but I called vstock and said, if you have this one, this one, and this one, this one, I'm like, save it for me. And then that guy, because uh, I asked him about shopping mall like three, four fucking times, like when I was in town. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember. He was like, did you ever get that? I said, I did. I, I said, my brother bought it for me. I said, finally, I got me some shopping. Uh, I, uh, I got me some shopping mall. He's like, did you like it? And I was like, oh, yeah. I'm like, my friend suggested it. I didn't say your name, Visions, but. I said, oh, yeah, my friend suggested it. And I'm like, it was fucking great. It was great. So, yeah. That one, I, I mean, I'm really looking for a movie that'll top Killer Clowns. That one almost topped Killer Clowns. Killer Clowns is without a doubt probably, well, so far, the cheesiest horror movie I've ever seen. Like, Draniac and fucking Chopping Mall, like, they're good runner-ups, you know? But, yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I hope everyone had a good day. Like I said, it was a pretty chill day, pretty chill Saturday. The only thing I went out for, um, I ran, I ran, I ran out of toilet paper and I ran out of uh, just a bunch of other crap that you need around the house. So I went to the grocery store, went to the post office. Since my mom was saying that my grandma wasn't feeling well, I sent my grandma a get well card. So I went to the post office, threw it in there. Um, Filled up on gas because I'm going to church tomorrow. And then I came back. Randall sent me the little video about Fierce Man. Uploaded that. Had some lunch. Went and got some Chipotle because I hadn't had it in a while. I lucked out. There was almost no wait for Chipotle. There was like two people in front of me. And I was like, all right, sweet. I don't have to wait like 
ages in line. Came back, ate it, and then I got on that uh, um, that little meme contest video that I uploaded uh, about an hour or two ago, and then I watched a bunch of old episodes of Power Rangers just to be nostalgic. So I'm on um, I'm on season one because I have got to get to some of these. Like this is one that I've watched ages ago, but I have not watched these since I was a kid. So yeah. So after I get Power Rangers done, I've got all that shit and this shit and this shit and this shit and those fuck those fucking two up. Oh wait, those two up there. So yeah. Let's see. Um, will you be Will you be uh, here in time for Toy Man? It's May seventh. No, no. I'm going to miss that one, Chicken Wizard, because I told my friend Chris that owns the Toy Man. I talked to him, not recently, I talked to him about, uh, I don't know, two, three months ago. And I said, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to come either this year or next year around a Toy Man. Because I miss going to that convention. I really do. But no, um, so... I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna let you go. I'm not gonna tell you guys what dates. I'm gonna try to go sometime in July. So yeah, that's my plan. Cause um, cause my mom's like, shake it up a little bit. She's like, you always come around like November or like you know October your birthday. And I was like, yeah. I'm like, you're right. I'm like, I should mix it up a little bit. So yeah. Plus that week and a half is filling up. You guys know that for a fact. Fears is probably gonna do a coffee shop stream. At the OG one, probably. If not, I'll probably just go in there and grab a coffee for the vlog or some shit. I'm going to go play with Enzo for a little bit. Hang out with my mom. Take my mom out to dinner. Take my grandma out to dinner. Uh, hang out with my buddy, Eric. Uh, oh, I'm definitely going to go down to the arch because I always do. I've, 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 I've added that part to the vlog at all three visits. I already called my friend that works at Johnny Brock's costume costume shop. I was like, oh, yeah, Fears, you're coming into town? I was like, oh, that's right, buddy. He's like, you're going to make your annual stop? And I was like, oh, you know it. And he's like, Fears, he goes, you're like clockwork. And I said, well, I said, I like what I like. And so then we're probably going to do the ultimate bowling guys night. I, I got to talk to the guys, Chicken Wizard. And uh, so, yeah. So. I'm a hoping, I'm a hoping, I, I'm hoping that, um, that I can get it all in because half the time I want to spend with my family and then half the time I got to go make all my little stops and hang out with friends and visions, you know, oh man, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm on the hunt for some, what, what, I can't, I can't, let me look it up, I keep forgetting what the fuck it is, I've added it to the list, let me grab the list. Uh, it's not zombies. It's uh, surf Nazis must die. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab that one. It's fucking hilarious. It's like some robot. It's like half cyborg, half human, fucking Nazi guy, and he's got a robotic hand on fucking one hand, and he's got a fucking like AK-47 in his other, and he's fucking he's fucking hang tang it, uh, hang tenning it on a fucking surfboard, and there's a girl. Under the fucking surfboard, in the fucking water, going, all that shit. So, I've got to find it, Visions. I must find it. By the way, speaking of Visions, uh, if you guys follow Visions on his Instagram or his Facebook page, if you, if not, you should. Visions, I really liked that uh, that new sticker design. Visions made a new sticker design, and it's basically like, I guess... You guys know that sticker that Visions made with, like, the skull, and then it says, like, uh, Exhumed Visions with barbed wire? Well, this one's kind of a revamped version. He took away he took away the barbed wire, and it looks like someone, like, drew it, like, scratched it in pencil, and it's a skull. And, it, and then it says Exhumed Visions. I liked it, Visions. I thought it was pretty cool. I literally wrote Visions, like, hey, Visions, is that sticker for sale? And he went, no, Fears goes, like, what I'm going to do is if, like, let's someone someone buys a big order, then I'm just going to throw in some of those free stickers. I went, okay, that's cool. So I told him, well, the next time I buy a shirt or a T-shirt, I'm, like, throw in one of those Exum Vision shirts. He probably would, even if I wouldn't have said anything. Because that because he just said that. He was like, oh, yeah, I'll probably just throw in some 
stickers for some like big orders. So yeah, I'm probably going to buy another Exum Vision shirt before I go on my Missouri trip because um, Visions, I told my friend Eric about the fucking, uh, he loves the fucking Tar Man too. And Eric's like, really fears? And I was like, what? And he's like, you have a fucking shirt with a tar man on it? I said, yeah, but I said it's a, I said it's not Return of the Living Dead per se. I said it's a fucking meme of it. And then he's like, I don't know what you mean, Fears. I said it's half fucking tar man. And then and then it's a and then the reason why uh Visions put it on the fucking t-shirt is because of this band that he likes. So I said he just took the band shit and then he took the fucking tar man shit. Whew, and, and put it together on the shirt. I said because Visions also likes Return of the Living Dead. And he goes, Fears, you got me into that fucking movie. And I said, I know I did, Eric. He goes, yeah, because you wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. I said, yeah, because it's fucking great. Fucking tarred man, like, ooh, brains. And, and then fucking eats the shit out of that fucking, I don't know, the, the fucking crazy guy with like the, the chains and the leather jacket and shit. That fucking guy. I can't remember his name, Visions, but you probably know it. Uh, if anyone knows his name, let me know in the comments. And then fucking like um, Spider's my favorite because he's just fucking going ballistic and he's got so much energy. And he's like, fuck this, fuck this. Oh, shit, fucking zombies. And he's like saying fuck almost. He, what, he says it like 20, 30 times through the whole fucking movie. And he's just hilarious. He takes a little paint can and throws it at fucking Tar Man's head. And then he just looks over and he's like, oh, yeah, man, fucking brains and shit. And then they all fucking take off running up the stairs. So, yeah. So I'm probably going to buy another shirt, Visions, but Eric wants, he goes, Fierce, bring the fucking Tar Man shirt on vacation so I can check this shirt out. I said, you can check it out for yourself. I said, just go to his website. And he's like, no, Fierce, because I got to see it in person. I said, yeah, but I said, you can also check it out on the website. So I, uh, Visions, I hope you don't mind. I, I gave uh, Eric uh, your website and he's, he said he's going to check it out. And, and he goes, is, is, he goes, Fierce, is, is there uh, some cool stuff? I said, yeah. I said, the only thing I don't like on, uh, on his website, and Visions knows this, is because I'm a Christian. I don't like all the Satan stuff. But besides that, everything else is fucking cool. And er and my buddy Eric was like, yeah, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. But yeah. So everyone's really excited about the trip. I'm excited about the trip. But I can't go too nuts on the trip because the trip that I want to go nuts on is the Lord Visions trip next year. Next year. All right. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. All right, so let's start with uh, let's start with Killing Season. So at first I thought it was a horror movie because it said like killing in the thing, but I was like, oh, okay, it's not. Really good movie. I highly recommend this one. Visions, Pixel, I think you guys would like this. The movie looks like it's like based on a true story, but it's not based on a true story. It starts off with like this war scene, and uh, it's about these two guys. They're two soldiers. He's, a, he's an American soldier, and then he's a German soldier. And I believe it's it happened the, the beginning happens in World War. Oh, hang on. Does it say what war it is? It's either World War One or World War Two. I can't remember, but anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Memories of the Bosnian 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 War. So it was the Bosnian War. Uh B O S N I. A and hopefully I said that right. Bosnian War. There it is. Right there. So they're in that war. So it wasn't World War One or two. It was the Bosnian War. And basically, uh, this guy commits a whole bunch of war like crimes, and it's his duty to shoot him. So they line up all these prisoners and they shoot him up, they shoot him in the back of the head. And somehow this guy remains alive. Like, so he thinks he killed him. And then he, after he shoots him, he walks away. Then it's years later, and he's retired, and he's in this log cabin, and he's and he goes out. Um, um, there's like a pain in his knee or whatever, so he just gets in his car. And whether it was luck or destiny or whatever, this guy um, has done his research on this guy and plans like this fake charade, basically. So he goes out to the store and gets some payments, and on the way back, his car breaks down. And he acts like he's just like camping. And he's like, oh, he's like, you have engine trouble. I'll help you out. And so uh, he, he's a Christian in this. And he's like, oh, he's like, well, hey, man, thanks a lot. He goes, listen, it's about to rain and storm. And I, it, it goes, um, why don't you come to my cabin? He's like, uh, he's like, I'm just about to make, you know, lunch. Um, 
I'm, I'm just about to make dinner um, just to show my appreciation for like, you know, working on my car. He's like, uh, you can have dinner with me. And so they started to become friends. So he thinks. So then the guy, it's like at the end of the night, they're drinking, they're having food. And he goes, well, he goes, uh, listen, man, he goes, I think you're a cool guy. He goes, I'm going to go hunting um, tomorrow. Would you like to come? And he's like, ah, he's like, I don't know. He, he goes, I just built this log cabin. I just started uh, retiring. I goes, I got a lot of shit to do. He's like, I got to chop firewood. He's like, well, he's like, if you change your mind, let me know. So the guy actually does change his mind. They start going on a hunting trip, but here's the thing. This guy is trying to get revenge for, for this guy trying to kill him. So he is hunting something. And all of a sudden the tables are turned. And then this guy starts shooting bow and arrows at this guy. And then all hell breaks loose. And basically the whole movie is him trying to get away from this guy and him hurting him and him hurting him. And this guy's like an expert rifleman. So he shoots the guy in the arm. Then he shoots a, 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 an arrow right through John Travolta's like goes right through his mouth and comes out the other side. It is. It, so it's a, it's a big like psychological thriller. I enjoyed every waking moment of it. And again, there's only a little blood in this. So it's not a horror movie though, visions and pixel. It's more like a, psychological th thriller action suspense movie all rolled into one. My friend was definitely, he goes, fears. This is right up your fucking alley. He goes, you know, all those movies that you used to watch with your dad, like speed and fucking alien and predator. And I said, yeah, he goes, it's kind of like that. He goes, this guy's pissed off at this guy. He goes, it's a real man's man movie. And he goes, John Travolta plays like a great, he goes, uh, he's got, he got the accent down. And I was like, I've never really seen, John Travolta is an action hero. He has done action movies, but he's more, he does a lot of comedy. He did a lot of those movies like uh, Look Who's Talking, you know, with the babies and the kids and stuff. So I, so, and he's done a lot of dramas and stuff. So I was like, oh, that's kind of cool that he's doing more action and stuff. When did they make this movie? They made this in, so it's an old movie. They made this in 2013. I guess this one passed me by because. I've never seen it until now. And uh, my friend's like, Fears, I'm telling you, it's action-packed. He goes, that guy's shooting bows, at bow and arrows at him. This guy's shooting bow and arrows. Then he grabs his rifle, shoots John Travolta in the fucking leg and shit. And it's just like an all-out fucking war between them. And I was like, oh, that's what's up. So I'm, I'm telling you, Pixel Visions, watch this. This is really good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I only refer movies to Pixel and Vision and to my fans Unless I really, really, if, I, if if it's just okay, I'll be like, you guys have seen me do my reviews. I'm like, yeah, it was cool. You know, five out of 10, you know, whatever. But if I really liked it, then I refer it. So this is definitely a nine out of 10. Super good. Super good. I'm not going to refer this one to Visions because Visions doesn't really like based on true story. Because I, I told him about the taking chance one. He did watch it and he went, Fears, I understand why you liked it because you're dead was in the army but he's like i'm just not much into military movies this is another one based on a true story so it is good though it is good so if you want to visions watch this pixel i don't know how you are on military movies it's based on a true story so the reason why it's called megan levy she that's the actual person's name and uh who plays her uh da -da 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 -da. What, what's the actress's name the actress's name is Kate Mira. I've never heard of Kate Mira until now. I, I've i seen her face, but I, I didn't know her name until now. So Kate Mira is this girl. She plays Megan Levy. And basically it's about, it's a true story. Everything in this movie is 100% real. Basically what happens is, is she's like in college and she's having a rough time like finding herself. She gets fired from like her crap job. And then she's like, you know what? School isn't for me. So she cuts, uh, she cuts, she gets, uh, she gets out of school. And her mom's like, what are you doing? And she's like, I may go back. But she's like, mom, before I invest in college, I got to really figure out my life. And so nothing is going right. So after she gets fired, she's walking out of her job that she just got fired from. And then across the street in front of like a shopping center, she sees these two Marines like handing out pamphlets. And she's like, Maybe I'll give that a go. So she does, and nothing else changes except for her job. 
She likes being in the military a little bit, but she hasn't found her true calling yet. And if she wouldn't have gotten in trouble in the army, then she never would have found her calling and and her and her dog Rex. So it's kind of good that she got in trouble in the army. So she goes out drinking one night with her and her girlfriends. And as they're trying to sneak back onto the onto the base, I kid you not, Visions, this is how she gets in trouble. She drank so much that she has to take a piss. And she didn't know that the building that she was leading up against was like the like one of her main commander's office. And I guess he was in the office. And I guess he was like working late. And she 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 stands right next to the building, pulls her pants down, and she just kind of like grabs under the building, takes a piss. And then all of a sudden a sergeant comes around and goes, Hey, what are you doing? You're pissing on the lead commanders. And she's like, Oh shit. So she gets in trouble. So as punishment, uh, they said, we don't know what your fucking deal is. Either get your shit straight or we'll just kick you out of the Marine Corps. And she's like, I understand. And he goes, well, he goes, like, you got some serious punishment coming your way. And she's like, I get it. I understand. What do I have to do? And so her punishment is, is that she has to clean out all the stalls of uh, of where they keep all the military dogs. And they use those military dogs in Afghanistan and other places to sniff out bombs. Because this movie takes place when it was like, you know, President Bush and he was all about going to Iraq and finding all the uh, weapons of mass destruction and taking care of all that crap. So she's like, oh man, this is going to be so shitty. Well, anyway, not only did she have to clean all that crap up in the stalls and all that, but she gets assigned Rex and Rex is literally, I don't know what's wrong with him. Something is up Rex's butt because he's like the most evil, most violent dog ever, right? Like every time she tries to like pet him, he's like barking away, snapping at her. She's like, all right, calm down. Fine. I won't pet you. You know, like she goes, I'm just trying to be nice and you're being a dick. So all of a sudden, uh, an opportunity arises. So uh, Rex's handler is trying to calm him down. And what does Rex do? He bites him in the hand. So, and Rex breaks like two or three bones in his hand. So now Rex doesn't have a handler and says, Hey, Megan, do you want an opportunity? And she's like, Yeah, yes, please. Anything to for me to get out of cleaning these shitty ass stalls. So they assign someone else to, to clean the stalls. So she starts training with Rex. And I guess because she's a girl and she has like a gentle heart and a gentle soul and she has a gentle voice. Rex kind of calms down and they become friends. And then all of a sudden they get shipped off to Iraq. And it says here that uh, Megan Levy and Rex completed over 100, I'm sorry, over 100 missions in Afghanistan. And she became like a, um, a war hero. And then she got injured. Um, but Rex saved her. So she only got a little bit of shrapnel in her. But if Rex wouldn't have pulled her arm and tugged her out of the way, then she probably would have got the full thing of the blast. And shrapnel got into Rex, and then they got sent back. And it's just basically like the movie's about her friendship with like this amazing dog that went from like barking and screaming and going fucking nuts to like the most gentle animal ever. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. It was a good movie. I like Taking Chance better, but I but this is like the second army movie that I've actually really enjoyed. Um, it was really good. Plus, I you guys know I always I always think real life is way cooler than like people making shit up in movies. I will always watch a based on a true story or based on actual event movies way before like I mean I like Star Wars and Star Trek and shit that they make up, but I like real life stories much, 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 much better. So this one definitely gets a 10 out of 10. Def I, I gave Chance a 10 out of 10. And basically the way it ends is uh, once she heals up and once uh, Rex heals up, well, they're like, well, Rex got so much shrapnel in his, in his, in his like kind of chest area and his legs that he has to retire now. So she ends up adopting Rex. She gets honorably discharged. She put in her time. Because she has some shrapnel in her leg. They remove it. But now she has to do like years of fucking, uh, you know, therapy and shit. And then they honor her. She's a big Yankees fan. And the end of the movie, they honor her in, in Yankee Stadium. 
uh, on Veterans Day, and it was a very good movie. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So I do recommend this movie to everybody. Uh, it was pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. And now she works at the end of the movie. It said she works as a vet tech in – or some, something to do with animal. I don't know. She works at a veterinarian hospital or something like that. And she's and now she lives with her husband and her children in New Jersey because she was born in New York. But I guess once she met her husband, they moved to New Jersey. So I actually have been to New Jersey a couple of times. My one of my dad's uh, uh, military buddies lived out there and he owned a farm. And I went to my dad's um, friend's farm twice. And he was one of uh, even though my dad never went to war. Uh, uh, this guy that I met, his buddy, they trained together. He he also was a military police officer, my my dad's friend, and he also signed up to do the uh, the paratrooping shit that my dad did. So yeah, very nice guy, very nice guy. He ended up passing away a couple of years ago before my dad died. So he died first, and then a couple of years later, then my dad died. So definitely a good movie. Definitely check it out. I'd say my favorite scene out of it is um, is when she meets Rex for the first time. And she's like, all right, fucking goddamn. She's like, chill out. Fucking hell. She's like, all I'm trying to do is, like, pet you, and you're screaming and barking your head off. And then Rex is like, yeah, fuck you. Like, don't pet me, you know? And he just keeps barking. That's a, that's a funny scene. This, uh, my favorite scene in this, probably when Robert De Niro's character figures out that, oh, shit, we're not hunting for deer. This fucking psycho is hunting me, and I have to defend myself. Right when he realizes that, he's like, oh, shit. So that, that's a good scene, too. Those are my two favorite scenes. So, yeah. Two good movies. Check them out. The next two movies I think I'm going to watch, uh, Oh, Visions. I need to get back to some Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 3, motherfucker. Fears has watched Part 1 and Part 2, and I was in absolute goddamn chaos fucking tears. They were fucking great. They make no goddamn sense, but they're fucking great. So, Fears has got two down in Silent Night series, three to go. They made five of those motherfuckers. So, yeah. The second one, he ends up falling out of a window, and he's in a fucking coma and shit. I'm like, motherfucker, he fell out of a window from a third-story house. He should be dead. Anyone that would fall out of a window three stories up, you're going to die, but... Somehow he makes it, and he's in a fucking coma and shit. Hilarious. So in the third one, I guess it picks up where he wakes up out of his coma, um, and and then it continues on. And then I guess he miraculously recovers, and then somehow he finds another Santa suit and goes on a mad killing spree for a third fucking time. Oh, my Lord. It's going to be great. Can't wait to watch it. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Hilarious. All right. Next topic. So I'm going to pull up Google. There's a couple of good horror movies coming out, and I want to tell you guys my uh, thoughts on these. So 2023 horror movies. Horror movies coming out. I looked at it before the stream, but I will look again. So like Pixel and Vision said, there's a new evil Dead Rise coming out. Uh... Then right before, I don't know if it came out this year, um, Visions and Pixel, but when I put in 2023 horror movies, uh, it popped up on Google. I have to see what this is about. Pretty much they took that awesome, funny little cartoon that everybody watched as a little kid and turned it into a horror movie. Fucking Winnie the Pooh is a fucking horror movie. It's called Winnie the Pooh. Blood and Honey. Blood and Honey. And I was like, oh, this is fucking hilarious. So I definitely want to see that one. Because I was like, all right, so basically they're going to take something from my childhood. Something from my childhood that I used to watch every Saturday morning. And it's a fucking guy dressed up in a Winnie the Pooh suit. And he's mixing blood with fucking honey. And like eating it and shit. So I was like, oh, man. I'm like, I've got to check this out. So, yeah, so it should be funny. Then there's a new movie coming out with uh, Nicolas Cage called Renfield. And I watched the trailer. My friend linked it to me. I don't know, Pixel Visions. What do you think? Do you think 
Nicholas Cage can pull off Dracula. So in, in a sense, he plays Dracula. And then there's this young guy that plays his, um, like his, his assistant, basically. So, yeah. Um, so I'm a hoping that it's good because it looked good. It, it, it did look good. And it starts off like in black and white and like Nicolas Cage does the classic, like I am Dracula. And then it, and then it flashes, it flash forward to the, um, like to the present. So yeah. Vision says, uh, did you recommend toy soldiers? Still need to watch that. That one you'll love visions. That one's got Sean Astin in it. Yes. Toy soldiers. It's basically about a bunch of like college, like misfit kids and they're misfits. And the whole college is, it's a boys school. And all these like boys are like been in like in prison or like they've gotten arrested or they've been to juvie or, you know, whatever. And then, but all of their fathers and mothers have like high end jobs. And uh, this terrorist takes over the school and says, if you don't get my dad out of jail, then I'll start killing these these hostages one by one. And all hell breaks loose. It's an 80s movie. It's got Sean Astin. In it. It's got that guy that played Wesley Crusher in Star Trek The Next Generation. Will Wheaton, he's in it. Um, and then it's got um, that fucking hilarious guy from Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Keith Kogan, you know, the guy, he has fucking long, wavy, like, like, um, well, in that movie, he had long, wavy hair, and then he was in, uh, Adventures in Babysitting, um, so I've met Keith Kogan at Super RetroCon 20, uh, 2022, I got an interview with him, I just haven't uploaded it yet, but I'm telling you, watch it, watch it, Visions, Toy Stories, to Toy Soldiers is fucking awesome. I haven't been able to find it on Blu-ray. I don't think it exists on Blu-ray because it's so fucking old. They like, they made it in like, I don't know, 1982, 1983. But it's good though. It's like a classic 80s action adventure, like war. Well, not even a war movie. It's just an action adventure. It's got war shit in it because the terrorists like throw bombs and shit. And then like the kids, the, the, the college kids make household bombs and they kill some of the terrorists with the bombs and shit. It's good, buddy. Vision says, uh, I'm going to watch it for sure. Cage has been a vampire before. He has, but I'm but he hasn't been a famous vampire like Dracula. So I'm hoping he can pull off uh fucking uh you know the best vampire of all time, fucking Dracula. I'll be back. I have to use the restroom. I've been it's been Crohn's dumping all day. I don't know what's going on. My stomach doesn't hurt, but uh the Crohn's has been a flowing today, so I will be right back. But just go ahead and study my fucking, um, my new mug, my new Mario Brothers mug, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. When you got to go, you got to go. Whew, I'm telling you, man. It's been fucking crones in it up today. Fears, I kid you not. Kid you not, man. Um, whew, that hasn't been the first restroom break. 
That's been Fierce's ninth fucking restroom break today. I'm kid you not. The fucking the turds have been a flowing today with the crone shit. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, heroes and villains? Yeah, let's talk about that visions. Um, I don't know exactly what happened last night, but uh, when I invite LC, and I'm sure he'll give me the lowdown. LC had a really good night. Him and his lady went out, and they didn't just get one shorty. They got two shorties, according to his Discord. And that's all I heard, Visions. That's all I heard. But I heard it was, let's just put it this way, it was a good night. And I saw your comments, Visions. I, I, I saw those. That's why I, I uh, put that little emoji on there, laugh out loud. You're like, hey, uh, you said something like, I thought, I mean, I, I wasn't mad at all. I thought it was fucking hilarious. Uh, it was, uh, it was, you put one of them, he was like, hey, uh, LC. Uh, if you want to have your boner last, just think of fears not having a lady in four years or some shit like that. I fucking lost my goddamn mind. I was like, so he's associating me with LC's boner. I fucking lost my mind. This is fucking hilarious. I fell down on the ground over here and I fucking lost my mind and it was hilarious. And then I went and made some dinner and I just kept fucking losing it over that comment. That fucking comment was hilarious. And then the other one, I can't remember visions, but I liked them both. But yeah, it was hilarious. So... Hey, way to go, heroes. Heroes, not just one shorty, fucking two shorties, and his wife. Whew. See, I don't know. I don't know if I could keep up with all that. You know what I'm saying? You know, because there'd be boobs and vagina all over the place. And I love boobs and vagina, but like anytime Fears has had sex, I just like to focus just on one lady. So it would be, I mean, it would be great. Like I'd be like kissing this girl and then like fondling this girl's breast over here. You know what I'm saying? So. They're just the more the more women involved, the more you have to fucking like concentrate on other shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I remember when I wrote back visions. I wrote back and said, "Yeah, way to go, LC." And I said, "I would just settle for one lady." I said, "I can't even find that. Finding one lady right now has been the biggest fucking mission and a half for fears." You know what I'm saying? The last four years, I've tried everything, but my friends like you'll find her fears. He's like, you just gotta fucking like keep going through like the like either find a woman through a friend like lc or find like if sam's like hey fears this there's girl i work with you like you'd love her or like just do the fucking dating sites i recently put a whole bunch of new pictures on my dating site so i hope i hope that helps anyway but yeah i've been trying for 10 stories anytime i'm out and about like well me and sam are gonna hang out uh next weekend and I guess we're going to the beach. That was my idea. Cause I, I just bought a new cooler. I can't, I think I've showed you guys that I was like, Sam, let's get on some beer. I said, you've had a crazy last couple of weeks. I said, work's been crazy for me, but I said, you've had a crazy and off camera. He's like, I'm down to the go. To, I guess I'm down to go to the beach and get drunk and shit. And I was like, yeah, we'll hit up. On, we'll hit up on some girls. So I was like, yeah, buddy. So, you know, cause there's mad pussy everywhere on the beach. I'm kid. I kid you not, visions. The only reason why I didn't ask out those two chicks last time uh, with me and Randy is one, Randy was macking on one of them. I said, "Well, I don't want to like ruin Randy's game because he's doing really good with the fucking magic shit." I was more interested in the girl. Oh my god, her ass was amazing. Uh, she had this like white and black bikini on, and I was like, "Oh." Ooh, ooh. But the only reason why I didn't ask her out is because when I, when either it was either me or Randall said, oh, hey, do you guys live locally? They're like, oh, no, we're on vacation. We're from fucking Wisconsin. I was like, God damn it. It's like sucks. Like all the good girls, they either are taken or they live fucking 3000 miles away. So, yeah. I do have some stream time heroes. I'm going to invite you in as soon, as soon as I'm done talking about all these new horror movies that me and Visions were talking about. So apparently. This does not surprise me. So visions, the fucking Winnie the Pooh shit surprised me, which is fucking hilarious. I wasn't surprised at the Renfield thing because I was like, as you said, he's already played a vampire ages ago. I'm just hoping he can pull off the most famous vampire of all time, fucking Dracula, you know. And it starts all with those classic scenes, you know, with his black cape, with the fucking little medallion that he wears, and, like, and he's holding the candlestick, and he's like, I am Dracula, you know, all that shit. Um, and then it, like, fast forwards to the, to, the, to, the, to the present. I already saw Scream, oh, what are we up to? Scream 6. Visions, I kid you not, when Scream 7 comes out, I'm going on your fucking website and buying that fucking hilarious meme 
Scream 7 shirt where, where the guy's all like, all like that. I'm just hoping they'll let me in the theater because it would be, oh, I would get it on video visions if they didn't let me go in with that shirt, you know, because I could get to the ticket booth and go, oh, yeah, you're not coming in like that shirt. It's got someone on the shirt flipping it off. Uh, that's not appropriate. Like, you can't come in with that. They have done that a couple of times uh, when I when I used to work at Disney, when it was like around Halloween time and I worked at uh, Universal for a little bit. Some guy had Michael Myers like uh, flicking off Jason and he was wearing that for Halloween Horror Nights. And I didn't say it, but one of my managers in security was like, yeah, there's no way in God's green earth you're coming in to the Universal Park with that fucking shirt on. And the guy's like, well, what do you expect me to do? He goes, I drove an hour away. He's like, either go to your car and take it off and put on another shirt. And the guy was like, yeah, I don't have another shirt, buddy. He goes, or he goes, take off your shirt right now and turn it inside out and wear your shirt inside out so nobody can see. So the guy had to go into the bathroom, wear a shirt inside out. And he said, if we see you with your shirt the other way, we'll ban you from the park for life. Like my manager at Universal, he was not kidding. So... But I'm going to risk it. I'm going to chance it. I'm going to buy that Scream shirt, buddy, off your website. And I'm like, all right, Stream 7, here we go. Exhume Vision style. I'm going to wear that shirt and hopefully they'll let me in. Uh, Chicken Wizard says, Winnie the Pooh scares me, John. Well, don't watch this new fucking uh, horror movie. Because it's got Winnie the Pooh mixing blood and honey together and I guess drinking it or eating it uh, from what the poster I'm looking at right now. Uh, let's see here. I did watch Megan. Visions, Pixel, I don't know. Uh, boy, no, I know Visions watched Megan because he referred that to me. Pixel, did you watch Megan? I liked Megan. I bought it on Blu-ray. Megan was actually really good. I, I, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed Megan. Let's see the next one here. Um, let's see here. Let me scroll down here. Uh, there's another movie, uh, Last Train on the Left. It may be an independent film. I don't really know what that's about, but it's got some guy with a gun and he's like looking out the train window. So last train on the left. I don't know. It looks hilarious. It looks hilarious. But you know what? You know what, Visions? You know the one that I'm really looking forward to? You know, the one the one that I'm looking forward to. Fears has already mastered Chud 1. <sighs> Chud 2. Chud 2. I cannot believe you didn't like that, Visions. When I watched the trailer, that fucking bath t that bathtub, a fucking zombie in a bathtub, like, Dee! and he and he does that right into camera. I fucking lost my mind. It was over. Probably, probably Visions. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I actually have seen Last House on the left, like the old ass. Isn't that that's the old ass version that like um. Oh, uh, who was that director? Um, Wes Craven. I think Wes Craven made like the old ass seventies Last House on the Left. That's pretty fucking gory, man. Whew, that was nuts. I barely got through that one. I watched that one like when I was eighteen, nineteen, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like all these hippies are, and all these crazy, all these crazy people are like killing this, killing this family because they. I guess they're like murderers or like they escaped from prison or some shit and they're hiding, they're hiding out. They're hiding out in this nice family's house and they just end up torturing and killing these people that have the last house on the left of the fucking cul-de-sac or some shit. That's some crazy shit, man. I barely got through that movie. It's good, but whoo, for the seventies, man. I was like, holy shit, there's all sorts of crazy madness going on in this fucking movie. It was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts. Vision says, yeah, Wes Craven. Yo, Chicken Wizard, Chicken Wizard says, Chud 2 is way better than Chud 1. Chud 1 barely has any Chuds in it. Uh, it's that guy from Home Alone. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's in the first one. And then the fucking guy that plays one of the Chuds in part two is the fucking security guard. I'm sorry, not the security guard, Vision's. The fucking lab technician guy that, like, takes care of all the robots. You know, the first one, he's, like, reading that fucking book, and he's got the fucking dork glasses on, and the ch and the uh, robots behind him, and then he just shoots out that thing, and it, like, goes into the guy's neck or his back or some shit. 
He's the he's the fucking Chud zombie guy in part two. Because as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh shit, it's that fucking lab technician guy or whatever the fuck he was on a chopping mall. I was like, oh, Visions will love this. I cannot believe he didn't like it, Visions. Well, same thing with Battle Truck. I thought that would be a winner. And you're like, yeah, fears. <sighs> Not a fan. And I was like, oh shit, okay. I'm like, well, to each their own, to each their own. But I cannot wait. So that's that, that. That's another one on the list, Pixel. Oh, I'll find it. I will find it. I'll find Shud too. I will find it. So yeah, uh, Visions and Pic and Pixel. I love Night of the Comet. That was a good one that you guys referred me to. That one's fucking great. That one's awesome. I watched. I watched that for. I watched that for free on um, on YouTube before before I went in in the town. But the last time I went in the town, uh. Well, I'm sorry, not the last time, because the last time was for my dad's funeral. The time before, uh, 2021 is when you referred it to me. I watched it before I went. Then I did find it at V-Stock, but they wanted it for like $80. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not paying $80 for Night of the Comet. Hopefully it's went down a little bit. I don't know why it was so expensive. It wasn't like it in a steel book. It only had like one or two bonus features on it. So I'm like, well, I can understand if it had shitloads of bonus features, right? And in a steel book, but it wasn't in a steel book. And it had like two features It had the trailer and then the making of Night of the Comet. And that was it. And I was like, I don't know why they're charging $80, but I'm like, Fears ain't paying that. So hopefully when I go into town this time, I'm hoping that it's like, I don't know, 40, 50, 30, something like that. That's more reasonable. So yeah. Vision says, I don't know. I guess there's a difference between casually enjoying a movie and saying uh, a movie is good. That's true. So Visions, he did tell me. I'm not narking on Visions. I just thought since you love Chud 1, you know, buddy, I thought you'd love Chud 2. But Visions did say, he went, yeah, it's all right, Fears. I kind of enjoyed it. So that's what he meant by I'm casually enjoying it. And I was like, really? I'm like, I thought you'd be going nuts over Chud 2. And he's like, no. Nah. He's like, I just liked it a little bit. Same thing with Battle Truck. He's like, yeah, Fears, there's a few good scenes. There's a couple of war scenes and shit, but yeah. So yeah. There you go, Pixel. Night of the Comet, $14. Again, at V-Stock, I shit you not. I'm not even kidding. Uh, I'm trying to remember it because I'm going to say both prices because I honestly, I honestly can't remember. I don't want people saying I'm a liar. Pixel, I shit you not, it was either $75 or or $80 at, at V-Stock. I have no idea why it was that much. That's why I looked at it, I was like, oh, fuck no, and I put it back. Because one, I had already watched it online because you referred it to me, and I wrote you on Twitter and was like, oh, dude, fucking Night of the Comet, it's fucking great. And then you were like, oh, did you like it, Fierce? I was like, oh, yeah, buddy, it's fucking epic. And then I remember either you or Vision said something like, hey, are you going to buy it? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, if I can get it for a good price, I'll buy it. So uh, I'll look on Amazon, buddy, or eBay. And if, if, if I can find it for $14, that bad boy's mine. Let's see. Pixel says, did, uh, did the 80s one have a slip? It did have a slip cover. Maybe that's the reason why. It did. It had the movie, and then it had like this epic artwork on it with a plastic uh, slip cover on it. Maybe that's it. Uh, that one is way more rare and out of print. All right, well then maybe that's the reason. Because I kid you not, it was either seventy five or eighty dollars, and I'm like, for what? It's got two features on it: the making of and the trailer. I said, I won't buy a Blu-ray unless it's chopped full of goodies. Because I love all that behind the scenes shit. Visions and Pixel likes that behind the scenes shit too. Because I'm. I'm obsessed with movies, and they are too. But I'm like, I'm not going to pay for just two features. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I couldn't understand for the life of me why it was that expensive. All right, Heroes, I'll take a break from the horror movies, and uh, we'll get the lowdown of Heroes Night because he said if I don't shoot him the link now, uh, he's going to get busy. All right, so let me go to uh, – we'll get back to the horror movie talk in a minute, Pixel and Visions, but I, I want to hear the lowdown of, uh, of Heroes Night. Because I, I haven't hung out with Heroes in a while. So let's get him in here for a couple of minutes. All right, Heroes, check your uh, Twitter. I'm going to send it. Well, this should be quite the story. I'm going to just sit back and relax and let him tell this story of how all this hilarious, epic crap uh, unfolded last night. All right. There you are, buddy. I sent you the link. 
So, yeah. But while we're waiting for heroes, uh, yeah, Pixel, I have no idea. Maybe, like, maybe you're right. I'm pretty, you're, pr- I'm, I'm almost positive you're right. Probably the reason why it was so expensive is because for that slip cover. Because I was like, all right, it's not in a steel book. Because steel books, they're epic, but they're all so expensive because they're in that steel book. Like, Jason, you know, has bought a whole bunch of steel books. So he could tell you too, right? I've got about nine or 10 steel books so far. Like the last steel book I got was the original Friday the 13th in a steel book. And I also bought um, Good Burger in, in, in a steel book. So those two were like the last ones I got. If it's, if it's, it has to be something epic though that I like to get it in a steel book, you know? So like if, if I found one like the Terminator in a steel book, oh, you bet your ass I'd get it. Cause I love the fucking, I love all the Terminators, but the first one's my all time favorite, you know? So yeah, give me five minutes. All right. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to pull back up the horror movies. But yeah, Pixel, I could, I could not understand for the life of me. I'm like, this ain't worth $80. I guarantee you, if you and Visions would have been there with me, like in V-Stock, you guys would have said the same thing. Like, fears don't get it. That's not even worth your time. I would have looked at you guys and been like, oh yeah, I know it's not worth my time. Like, I'm not paying $80 for just a random Blu-ray. I would if it was worth it. But I couldn't, I'm telling you, Pixel, I was like, there's barely any bonus features on it. So I'm like, why do they, I'm like charging an arm and a leg. I don't, I just don't get it. Vision says, LC was like, girl, my channel is, is busting with subs because of my work with the Mario movie. And the ladies were like, ooh, I'm wet. Probably, probably. LC slick like that. I just picture him going, hey, ladies, you know, how about this? How about would you like to come out with me and my wife for a good seafood dinner? And then I could go back to a hotel and eat your seafood. And then we can like play some Mario, like as, as fucking desserts after fucking naughty time. And then they're like, oh, yeah, you think so? And he's like, oh, I fucking know so. Got a little bit on Mario, a little bit on a little seafood, a little candle, a little wine, a little fucking music. There it is. I cannot wait to hear the story visions. I wish I was that slick. I'm, I, I kid you not. I am so rusty. I'm so rusty. I, when I go out on my first date in four years, I'm going to be nervous as all hell because I haven't had a lady in four years. I don't even know how I got, how I convinced Casey to come out on a date with me. Cause I kid you not. I've said this many times. Casey's a wonderful girl and I'm glad that we're still friends, but she was way out of my league. But she gave me a chance, and I was like, wow, I can't believe she gave me a chance. Epic. It just sucks that I failed miserably because I do kind of miss her. But I wish her, I wish her the best of luck. But Visions has told me this. Pixels told me this. They're like, fierce. she's done. You got to get over her. So that's why I'm trying. I, I'm pretty much over her. Every once in a blue moon, I still kind of think about her. But I, I, I wish her all the happiness in the world. That, that's why I've been riding more girls on the dating saying, Hey, I like, I love that bathing suit photo. We should go to the beach, drop fears a line. You know, I always try to compliment them on the dating apps. I'll be like, Oh, Hey, rich. Uh, I almost said Richie. Jesus. I'm sorry. Not fucking Richie. I meant to say, I, well, she's, her name was Richie, but she spelt it. I, uh, R I C C I. I can't remember how she spelt it. I didn't mean Richie. Yeah. But anyway, uh, there was this one girl, Christine. I'll give you a perfect example. I always try and give them a compliment vision. So uh, this lady's name was Megan. So I said, hey, Megan, I'm John. Nice to meet you. Oh, I see that you upload a a photo of you and your family playing mini golf. I love mini golf. Uh, I'm throwing a challenge out to you. We should totally go out and get to know each other and play some mini golf sometime. Let me know what you think. Also. Uh, I really like that uh, uh, that she was wearing a uh, a Christian cross uh, necklace. I said uh, I'm a Christian too. I said I don't wear a necklace, but I said that's a very nice necklace you have. I always try and give them a compliment, and I always try and find something on her on her profile, my profile that we have in common because that's a good start, you know. And sometimes it works, and other times they respond, and other times. They don't respond. I'm like, all right, I guess she wasn't interested. On to the next girl, you know. Chicken Wizard said, you didn't fail, buddy. You did the best you could, and that's what counts. I did. I did. 
I did. Just some people are not meant to be together, but I'll be honest, we had more good times than bad times. Towards the end of the relationship, we were fighting like no other, arguing all the time. And so, but the but the rest, uh, we went out from May of 2019. That's what I met her from May. And then she, she dumped me like in the, uh, I'm sorry, not the middle, like it was either the first week in November or the second week in November. So that's when my mom and dad came into town and they came for three reasons. One, they're like, Oh, we're so happy that this girl makes you happy. We should totally like go out to dinner and you could introduce us to her. And I said, Oh, I said, I'd love to. So they came for that. They also came cause they said, Hey, we're getting rid of some of our furniture. You can have it. And I said, Oh, please bring that comfy couch from the TV room. I lo- fucking love that couch. And my mom's like, it's yours, John. You can have it. And I was like, sweet. She's like, we bought a better couch. And my mom knows how, how obsessed I am with this couch. And I said, mom, why don't you and dad like that couch? She goes, it's not that we don't like it. We found a better couch. And I was like, I fucking love this couch. I said, until it gets a rip or a tear in it, I'll keep this fucking couch. It's so damn comfy. And my mom and dad were like, it's yours, John. So they came for that. Plus they missed me. So they're like, we want to see your apartment. And I was like, come on down. So yeah. But I appreciate you saying that, Chicken Wizard. There's no bad feelings between me and her. I wish her the best of luck. I'm not going to tell you guys where she moved to, but I said, hey, good luck with your new life. Good luck with that guy. I'm like, I don't know much about him, but I said, good luck with your new job. And she's like, oh, thanks. I appreciate it. And she's like, I'm going to come back in town and visit my friends and stuff So and my, and my family because her family lives here. And I, and I said, well, I said, if you want to grab lunch or whatever the next time you're in town, oh, we definitely will. And I said, okay, cool. Again, she's the biggest procrastinator of all time, but I try not to hold that against her. We'll see if we actually hang out because I tried to get us to hang out as friends, you know, once or twice, a couple of times a year, and she never got around to it. So hopefully, hopefully she means what she means because she's like, oh, I'd love to hang out when I come back in town. I said, so would I. So I hope. When she comes back into town, of course she's gonna hang out with her friends first. But I mean, I mean, I mean her family first, but then hopefully we get to hang out. Cause I because I did write her and say, you know, it sucks that we didn't get to hang out before you left. And she's like, Yeah, she knows it did, it, it does. I said, Listen, I said, whenever you want to hang out when you come back into town, you let me know. And she said, All right, I will. So, but I appreciate you saying that, chicken wizard. That's the only thing I don't like about Casey. Like, I'm more of a doer. If I say I'm going to do something, I do it. But besides that, she's a wonderful person. But again, we're all, we're, nobody is perfect. So I don't hold that against her. So, yeah. All right, LC, where are you, buddy? Come on. I want to hear about this Florida extravaganza orgy fest or whatever the hell happened. Because, <laughs> uh, because visions, the minute you said orgy, I was like, and then I saw that shit in the fucking Discord, and I was like, oh, my Lord, what the fuck happened last night? Oh, Lord. So LC got drunk. LC got drunk, and then a whole bunch of shit happened. So, yeah. Probably Visions. You know, she probably wasn't ready to hang out, and I respect that. Visions said she was probably too shy to tell you that she didn't want to hang out, to be honest. That's probably what it was, you know, because I even told her, listen, when we do hang out, like the first 10 or 20 minutes is going to be kind of awkward because we haven't, if we ever do hang out, we haven't hung out or seen each other in years. We keep in touch through text and social media because she's liked a bunch of my social media posts. But I said, after like 10 or 20 minutes, it probably won't be awkward anymore. And I'd be like, you know, no time has passed. That's what I think. But so, yeah. Oh, shit. Hero says, I'm coming, but it's not C-O-M-I-N-G. He's C-U-M-I-N-G. Well, Jesus, man, this guy never stops. He's like, you know what? I'll get a little quickie in with the wife before I go talk to Fierce. What the fuck is the matter with you? Uh, this is going nuts. Didn't, didn't you get enough last night? Wasn't three girls enough? Can't you throw one girl my way? Hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah, exactly right, Bidgens. LOL. LOL. This guy's like the Mac Daddy of Florida. I'll get on a little bit of this. I'll get on a little bit of that. I won't give any to fears. Even though I want a lady so bad, you can't help out your good buddy, fears. 
Unfucking believable. No, that's all right. That's right. <laughs> oh shit, visions. <laughs> Vision says boots keep his, his nuts. <laughs> oh my god, that was fucking great. That was great. Visions, you are a funny motherfucker, man. That's one of the. I mean, there's many reasons why I like being Vision's friend, but one of the reasons is he makes me laugh. All right, here he is. All right, here he is. We'll we'll find out the truth about this epic orgy. Three, two, one. Yo, 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 yo. What's up, dude? Yo, yo, yo. What they Man, do, you had, uh, apparently, you had quite the night last night. Uh, you want to fill us in? Uh, as much as you can fill us in? Uh, what's going on? It was all right. Yeah? I don't, I don't know if you want to tell us all your dirty laundry, but apparently, from, <laughs> from what I heard, you, you <laughs> got a little drunk, and then you met two shorties, and then magic happened. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, for me, that's a uh, regular, um, that's a Wednesday, even though it happened yeah, on a dude. Friday. Yeah, you know what? Fuck you. Fears wants a Wednesday like that. Hook a brother up, man. You know, I, I just want one fucking Wednesday like that. Listen, you got to get off your fucking ass. I do. I do. Well, you didn't invite me out, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna invite myself. Invite me out, and I'll come out. Because I've been trying to find a lady for a while, but I'm glad you had a good time, buddy. Also, that new shirt, man. Oh, well, it's new to me. Uh, is this a new shirt? That's pretty cool. So what? What? What's that? What is it? I I, I, I don't recognize that. It's from the Ninja Turtle, the, the Channel Six crew. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Got it. It took me a minute. Yeah. Yeah, you would know if you was a Ninja Turtle fan. I like Ninja Turtles. I do. It just took me a minute, buddy. So, uh, how you been? What you been up to? Oh, by the way, check out this mug that I got. Uh, I went oh, on, I went on a uh, uh, I went on a, a hunt by myself. I went on a hunt by myself, man. What do you think of this new Mario mug I fucking got on my own? You like it? That, that's good. Fear. I told you like a million times. When you go do these hunts and you buy shit, record it, be for you I to should've. have more content. I should have. Uh, I um, you I always say the same shit. <laughs> I, I I didn't even think about it. I just went in, like I went in and I I could have filmed it on my fucking phone, but I was charging my GoPro, and I went. You know what? I'm like, I'll just do a mini hunt. I only bought two things from uh, from GameStop. I bought uh, that Luigi shirt, and then I bought this, and then I went and got some lunch. I've never tried. I love shirt. that Luigi shirt. You been, you just been Luigi. It was, it was. As soon as I saw it, as soon as I saw it, you know me. I love Mario more, but I, I mean, I do love Luigi too. And I said, "Do you have any?" I said, "I'm gonna buy a Mario shirt and a Luigi shirt." And they said, "Oh, you know what? We ran out of the Mario." Shout out to everybody in the chat, showing love. What's up? Shout out to everybody in the Discord, showing love. So apparently, what happened was, is they ran out of Mario shirts. So I went, "All right." So, but what do you have left? And they said. Whatever's on that rack. And so I said, oh, I, I like Luigi. So that's the reason why I got that one. So, yeah. So b besides the Orgy Fest, what else what, what else have you been up to, buddy? What's up, Mercenary Man? He says, what's good, LC and uh, Fears? What up? Yo, well, I am going to – soon I'm going to be doing a live stream of me, unfortunately, taking down my whole collection. Everything is coming down. Are you Everything. real? Are you rearranging it, or, or what's going on? <coughs> um, I'm moving. Oh, nice. Oh, so you found a newer place. Yes. Well, I haven't found it yet, but I, yeah, I'm trying to buy a house this time. So nice. I mean, I've been looking. So far, everything's been, you know, good. And so I'm trying to buy. I was going to rent. But my mm -hmm. mom's like, no, buy. My mom said, if I buy. My mom like, listen, buy. And then if you buy, I will give you as a gift. An additional ten thousand dollars, so you can nice. use towards your house. Nice. And that's only if you buy. I said what? I said fuck yeah. So I bought in the past, but it was like over twenty years. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it again. I'll be considered a first time buyer. I want to get me a nice house. Nice. Then I got that ten G's in my pocket. My mama gave me. Mm -hmm. and I'll be good to go. You know what I mean? Well, plus you add, got add that. Add those ten G's to the collection. Plus <laughs> you've got a, a big family. You guys need a bigger place. Plus. If you get a bigger place, you'll get a bigger nerd cave room to put all your shit in, and then you can have the ultimate fucking setup in your new nerd cave setup. You know what I'm saying? Mercenary Man said, LC's uh, almost got 4.5 subs. Um, heed his words well. 
Listen, Mercenary Man, I have been up. I took his advice. I have been uploading more content faster. It's not as fast as You've been gaining, <coughs> obviously, not as fast as me, but it's not as, not as fast. Once again, I always but, say it, it's not a competition. It's not a competition, but I have been gaining some more subs. Uh, yes. Let me let me let me tell you, I'm up to let's see. Not a competition, but I do have a lot more subs than both of your channels combined. But you know what? I have I have more uh, subs <laughs> on TikTok, so it all evens out. And that doesn't count. I'm not on TikTok. Well, I am on TikTok. I am on TikTok, but I don't post like that. We're talking about YouTube. It does count. So I don't even go uh, there. It don't count. Cheap-ass <laughs> motherfucker. You know what? You know what? I, I'll give it to you like this. I'll, I'll, I'll take the crown for YouTube. You can take the crown for TikTok. That's, what it, that's what's up. Listen. Go. Listen. Then, you know, when I venture, I get more subs. Then I'll smoke your ass in both of them. There, there you go. No, it's not a competition. I, I, I'm not even jealous, buddy. I'm glad of all your success. Like, remember I did that stream and I literally posted, yeah, you know, in the little banner that goes down, I said, yo, congrats to LC for hitting 4,000. I'm, I'm proud of you. you back. I'm proud of you. Something that's holding you back. I appreciate it. Something that's holding you back that you've been slacking on. Everybody's been waiting on. I know. I know. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. The next time I'm over at your house or the next time you come over to my house, bring it over to my house. We'll fucking do it. Well, this is empty. These are my these are my trophies. Remember, one one was the one I did. One was the one my son did. You think I'm going to yeah. throw these out? Bro, oh, they I, made no, me, listen, they, they made me say, this is the trophy right here. Exactly. We exactly. did it. Listen, I'm glad that you kept it. <laughs> I'm going to keep it as a trophy, and I'm going to put that bitch right over here on that shelf. That's right. Having a ball for LC, your pixel. Shotgun, yeah. little buddy. So, buddy, the sub count is up to, on Fears Man, I'm up to 2,445. Oh, that's the main channel. And then on Fears Vlogs, I've gained a few oh, more smokers. I was at 1,300, but now I'm at 1,315. So I guess I gained like 15 more subs on the vlog channel. So like you said, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So how, how's work been? What, what else has been going on? F uh, fill me in. How's work? How's everything else been going on? Everything's been good, man. So yeah, like I was saying, so yeah, I'm going to wind up doing a stream, taking down my whole, sh because I got to take everything down and put it in box, right? Yeah. So like I said, you guys think I'm joking. Like, put give me the big screen. Give me the big screen real quick. Oh, yeah. Hang on. There you go. You guys think I'm fucking around. Like, when you guys see me talking, you see the background of the connection, this is all you see. You don't see that behind those toys, there's a shit, uh, there's another layer. Behind those toys, yeah. there's like, like about 10 layers back there. 10? Yeah. You got legend, you got 10 boom, rows, 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 rows. Back there, you can't see. So what I was planning on doing was I do got to pack. I got to take the shit down and put it in boxes. So I was thinking mm -hmm. of just doing a live stream and just talking to everybody. And yeah. as I'm taking everything down, I can show everybody the shit that you guys haven't seen that's in the back. Like I said, this, I have a lot of shit that you struck me. It goes deep. You yeah. know what I mean? So I was thinking I of doing the live stream. Idea. LC, um, that's, I, I think that's an absolute great idea. When you're moving, do that fucking stream. That's a great, that's a fantastic idea. Yeah, that way I can go ahead as I'm taking everything down. You know, you guys can see the shit that you're like, oh, shit, I didn't know. Because yo, even me, I forget I got shit. And it, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like no, I said, I'll be going through I things and I'm like, oh, shit, I forgot I had this. Because I got so much shit, you know? You got so much shit, you forget what you got. That's more content. That's more nerd content that everybody wants, you know? Fucking do it. Yeah, so, I mean, whoever wants to see, but I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about everything from here, everything from the Marvel, everything here, Ninja Turtle-wise. Like, yo, it goes down here, deep. There's mad shit in here, deep. Like, it goes deep. There's shit in here that goes deep. This shit goes deep. It goes high as fuck. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, bro, I'm talking about mad shit. You know how high that shit is. Yeah. You know? Like, I, that shit goes to the ceiling. You know what, buddy? Oh, I, got an idea. I got an idea for you. When you do this, do this nerd cave as one stream, and then you know your other nerd cave in your living room? Do a separate stream and take down that shit and do a stream for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you can get two streams, you know, you know, kill two birds with one stone. 
Yeah, that'll be in a whole different. That'll be a whole different thing because that's in a whole different part of the room. Yeah, do another like do a whole other different stream and be like, all right, I took down the first nerd cave. Here's yeah, the- but here's that the- one is gonna be <laughs> <clears throat> even harder because this is easier. It's already in boxes. I yeah. can just take it from the box. All the other shit, man. My wife made me dump out the boxes. So I don't have boxes unless it's like the hot toys. If you need, I got the boxes for the hot toy. But all the other statues mm-hmm. and everything over there, I don't got boxes for. LC, so if you need make sure. free, uh, LC, if you need free boxes, whenever I move down to Florida, if you go to Walmart, they've got shitloads of boxes in their back room. Just go there and say, "Hey, I need about 10, 20 boxes. Can I can I have some of your guys' boxes that you're gonna throw away in the back?" I used all Walmart boxes whenever I moved down here. And they're, they're like, yeah, take as many as you want. We want to get rid of this shit. Uh, Pixel is smoking a bowl in honor of you, buddy. Did you see that? Yeah, man, you're late, bro. I, I gave him a shoddy. Okay. He's, I, read that, I, I, read that, I read that comment 15 minutes ago, motherfucker. Mercenary Man says, I think if LC went on TikTok, well, he's already on TikTok. He could get a bunch of views, I'm sure, between collecting and 420. I mean, I'm on TikTok, but I basically can, Listen, the stuff I put on TikTok is basically the same things which is like shorts, the same shorts I put on YouTube, which mm-hmm. is just, you know, figures. I don't do yeah. no crazy shit. You don't fucking see me with. And you know what? I do on my TikTok. Mario's the fucking Bear Morales over here dancing Everybody. and shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. So On my okay. TikTok, I do a mixture of videos. I respond to people's comments. I respond to people's questions. Uh, I just uploaded all that. Well, I'm going to upload that tonight before I go to bed. You know all that bad weather that we had with all the hail and shit? I was like, oh, this is perfect TikTok here. I ran outside, filmed two videos. It was chucking it down. Plus, I wanted to check my car to see if there was a million dents in it. Thank God there was no dents in the Fearsmobile. What about your car? Did your car uh, make it through the uh, the storm, buddy? Because that hail storm was fucking going ballistic. Yeah, not over here. Oh, over here, man, it was insane. The trees were like fucking bent over. Yo, oh. I saw that. I saw that. I'm like, when the fuck did this happen? Or did it happen on my, on my side? It happened all through Claremont, Kissimmee. Well, parts of Kissimmee. And uh, I was watching the news and Orlando because I had never seen hail. I've seen hail before in Missouri. That happens all the time. But I was like, fucking hail in uh, Florida? They like My neighbor said, yeah, fears it happens once every five, six years. And, I, and they were about, like, not golf ball size hails, but they were about, like, marble. marble size hail, and it was chucking it down for, like, an hour or two. Rain, hail, lightning, thunder, all, the, all that shit. Pixel says, Fears could use some green. Well, Pixel, here's the thing. I have green, but not enough green. I need to get more green. That's what I need. That's what I need. No, he's talking about green. Smoke. Oh, I thought he meant, like, green money. No, I don't smoke, buddy. Uh, that's not my thing. That's not my thing. Pixel said, Elsie, uh, did you hear this? Pixel said he's going to try to get me stoned the next, the, when we, me and him hang out. I was like, I don't mind getting drunk, but he's not getting me stoned. He's like, all fears. Yeah, like- I mean, I, mean I, gave, I gave fears a couple of shotguns the day that he had the Oculus on. He didn't see it, but remember he got, he, uh, you know, he got like, I gave him about two, three shotties. Mm-hmm. It's in the live stream. He don't know this because he had the headphone. He had the goggles on, but it's on the live stream. Is it? Oh, shit. Yep. I didn't know about this. I know. Son of a bitch. Well, sh- keep it on the down low then. But no, I'm, I'm, I've am i just never been into smoking. Vision says, uh, hey, uh, hey, LC, have you already started looking for a house? Yeah, uh, Friday. Nice. So, so when's the big, big move? I know you're preparing to move, but when's the big move? I mean, the landlord, the la- we talked to the landlord, and the landlord asked if we can be out by the 15th. Oh, wow. Like, oh, that's right. Of May. Oh, damn, that's coming up. Damn. Like, yeah, that's literally, that's literally like about 16 days from now. Yeah. Like, you know. And you guys have got a lot of <laughs> in your house. I've been, I've been in your house three times now. You guys have got a lot of shit. So you guys better, if you need, hey, man, if you need any help, I'll come over and help you pack some shit if you need any help. So, yeah. So let me know. Let me know, buddy. Like, before I go into work, I, I could come over for a couple hours and, and help you pack. I'll see what's up, brother. I appreciate it. I'll let you know. I don't mind coming over and helping out, helping out for a couple hours. I'll but let yeah, you know. Chicken Wizard says, uh, uh, does he have any old school toys or 
No, yeah, he's got a bunch of old school stuff, Chicken Wizard, and new stuff. That's what he's asking. Yeah. Elsa, like, yo, you want to see old school sure. stuff that's literally right by me only because it's right next to me? This <laughs> is literally my childhood. Yeah. Like, well, literally, these are my toys that I bought when I was a kid. These are my official. Yeah. Only because I have them here and my mom recently came and brought them. Uh -huh. These are the old school originals. Um, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah. The classic. Old classic ones. Yeah. Well, see, LC, your mom is like my mom. Now, this is like the old classic, but I do have these again, the whole new version. Oh, here, hang on. You show it again. Classic. Show it again. Show the old school shit again. Look, you have the old school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I know that guy. You got the old school turtles. You got. Oh, Fick yeah. It. Yep. You know, the Rat King. The Rat King. So these are all the old school, but these were like the originals. Like, I was a, a kid, I was about seven, eight years old. Oh yeah, uh, and th these were my original toys. Oh, yeah, you I have all that shit. Each one of those so, figures I have in Missouri, I have all three of those. My mom, know, okay. my mom was good, and she saved all my old toys. Uh, LC, she saved all my Ghostbuster shit, and all my old Nintendos, and all my systems. And all this my one, this one they made. This was the Talking Turtle. Oh um, yeah, I you gotta that. put the, the thing in, and then you pull it, mm -hmm. and then he, uh, they talk. Yep, I've got that one too. Hey, you know. Quentin. Hey, Quentin. Shout out to being a spoiled rich kid, motherfucker. That's right. So, yeah, my mom was really good about saving all that shit. Did, did your mom save all that, like, from your childhood? Yeah, man. She still has a bunch of all my other shit. She has, um, she has, man, my mom had my, my, all my old Nintendo, well, all my Nintendo game, my Super Nintendo, my, all my shit. She has it all in storage. I have three big bundle bins in my mom and dad's basement, and... My real name is Johnny, but but uh, I shortened it to John, you know, for work and shit. If you go, if, if you came to Missouri, buddy, and you went down to my basement, it's those big, massive plastic containers. One plastic container is nothing but my video game stuff. The next one is for nothing but all my old uh, Ghostbuster shit. The third one's for all my like Legos and my uh, and my Ninja Turtles. My mom saved all that shit, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, no. Hey, I'm looking at the chat. When it comes to buy, yeah, I know the whole closing thing. Like I used to own before. So my plan is, if I have to be out, I'm gonna. Uh, but my plan is, I gotta box everything up and put it in storage. Mm -hmm. Yep. As yep. long as everything's in storage, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I can go freaky, even if I gotta stay a couple of nights at my mother-in-law's house because she still got the three extra rooms. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So like, there's places I can be if I needed to. You know what I'm saying? Mercenary man, actually things have gotten better with Quentin and Adam, so we've been trying to get along civil. Plus, that is a reference to what Quentin said. Quentin said would always say, "Hey, fears is a spoiled little rich kid," and I was just joking. So I'm not making fun of Quentin. I'm just doing a quote. We've actually gotten we've actually gotten a lot better in the Discord. We're all trying to get along, Mercenary man. Mercenary man's been gone for quite a while, so yeah. Hey, I, I've been a mercenary man. I've been telling him fears that for the longest time. But so you now, know, we're, you can't, so now you can't be on your stream talking shit about people I was, and I then expect them not to talk shit back. But I wasn't talking shit about him. I wasn't talking shit. No, but I mean, you know, I've told you that before. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it doesn't help the situation. That's why I, I haven't been talking shit about them lately on my streams. That's what I'm saying. I haven't been talking about. Uh, I just I just said a funny joke. But I, I've been trying not to talk shit about them. But yeah, Vision says, "Yeah, hope the landlord will let you stay another month or two. Sounds like uh, you got it figured out, though." And then Mercenary Man says, "Yeah, there's got to be something you can do to push back the date." So yeah, perfect. Yeah, I can't. I really gotta. I really gotta go. I gotta get the fuck out of here. You know what? The thing is about your house, buddy. Is I like it. If it was just you and your wife, it'd be the perfect size. The, yeah, but my junkie, my kids go, are, 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 exactly. are grown this place, you know? Exactly. That's what so. I'm saying. So what I was saying was if it was just you and your lady and you had no kids, that would be the perfect house for you guys. But since you guys have kids, they've gotten older, they've gotten bigger, they've outgrown it. So it's time to get like a proper house, you know? Like if it was just me living alone, I'd have all the space in the world like in your house. That That's great. Right. Look at you right now. You're living alone. You have all the space in the world right now. Exactly. exactly. So – I don't need a big place. That's why someone asked me one time, hey, Fears, would you get a house? Someday if I got married and have kids and stuff, but me being you know alone right now, 
I'll just chill here, you know, for a little while until until my circumstances change, you know. Pretend story says I'm excited for LC. I think we all are excited for LC. Good uh, uh, good things coming. I appreciate the love and the support and all the positive. You know what I mean? I try to stay positive myself because oh shit is hard. You know what I mean? Things are hard. Things you know. I try to make things seem easy, but shit is not easy. And I hear you. Listen, I'm you know, especially when you have a family like for you. Certain things is easy as hell. Yeah, you could just up and leave really fast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Me, I got a whole family. I got a fucking that that that, that got a tag well, along. You know what I mean? I gotta get ready yeah. and make sure like it's a lot. Being a single guy, I've got less shit to deal with. You know, like like all my stuff would probably fit into ten boxes. You know, in this house or in this apartment, it would probably take me two or three days to pack all this shit up, and then I'd be out. You know, but I wouldn't need 15 days, but I get what you're saying, but we've all been going through struggle, buddy. Sam, Sam, it's just finally starting to get better for Sam. We're going to hang out this weekend, uh, for, um, uh, oh, I forgot what's, what's this weekend. It's, um, um, Cinco de Mayo. So me and Sam are going to hang out this weekend. He wants to go to the beach. And I was like, we can hit up the beach. Hopefully we, uh, start talking to some shorties on the beach. I've been trying. I had a private conversation with him. I said, I've been trying to get out more, go see more movies. Do more shit outside. Yeah. But, buddy, I've been I taking... I want to see you talk to shorties, Fears. I want to see you talk to shorties. I'm rusty. I'm rusty. I want to see you because the, the way you make it sound is like... You got to come out with me and you got to see me talk to shorties. And then you got to follow the exact... Well, is, you got to do exactly what I do. Trust me. Teach me, buddy. Teach me your ways. Uh, because I get nervous sometimes. I told Sam and Randy this. Like, if they get to a certain level of hotness, I, I get real quiet and I get nervous. Yeah, if, but that's your problem, bro. You got to lower your expectations. You got to... Oh, I, I know. I know. You I know what I mean? You try to go for the hot chick no, when no, the whole girl is just as fine. You listen, know what I mean? I don't always, listen, let me explain. I don't always go for the hot chicks. I, like, I, I've, I've, I've dated some mediocre chicks before, but what I'm saying... On the hotness scale, I get real nervous if the girl is out of my league. But my dad always taught me, well, fears, you never know until you try. Fucking go for it, you know, because you never know. If you don't try, then you won't go for it. So I get real nervous if they get to a certain level of hotness. If I know I can probably pull it off, then I'm really good at chatting with girls. That's what I mean by that. Like, yeah. for instance, the girls I met last night, they were friends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I met him. You you, you, you want to know how I met him? You want to know how I met him? Everyone's dying here. Uh, lay it on me. Lay it on me. So I bought a big bottle of Hennessy, right? Oh, nice, buddy. Nice. Yeah. So um, wifey was already at the bar chilling. We had already had the drink. We, have it, we, already, we already killed the first cup, right? Ooh, yeah. So I said, hey, I'm going to go to the car because that's what we do. Depending on where we at, fuck that. I'm not going to. Spend fucking fifteen dollars on drinks, knowing yeah. that literally I'm parked right next to the thing. You know what I mean? Fuck that. I get you. Those bars, <clears> and, <throat> and it's a strip. Literally, my and car is like car. about ten, fifth. My my car is literally like about ten, fifteen feet away. Like you yeah. know what I mean? So I go to the car, and then I fill up the I fill up the cups, pom pom. You know what I mean? And then I walk out, and then I see these two these two shorties, right? Mm -hmm. And um. Uh, they are, they're, they're standing by the side of their car, and then I hear sniffling, right? And then I walk up close to them, and I'm like, yo, what's up, man? And then I go up, and then you see them. You see the other one with the little things taking a bump, bam, bam. You know okay. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't, By the look on your face, you don't know about, you don't know what I'm I, talking about. I think I know what you're talking about. You don't I, know. So but I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm, I'm gonna not keep for going. sure. I'm not for okay. sure. Just tell me. I. That's the reason I was like, I think I know what he's talking about, but I'm not 100% sure. Continue. You don't know exactly what I'm... You don't know shit, bro. But anyways, I'm going to keep going. Look, read the chat. The chat knows what I'm saying. So <laughs> I woke up to them, and that's what they're doing. So I say, oh, hey, um, are you are you guys alone? They're like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they said, we were here already. We just came to the car real quick. I said, oh, cool. I'm here. I just came to the car real quick. And then I'm like, hey, listen, I'm just here with wifey. You know what I'm saying? I said, hey, would you guys want to come and um, and chill with us? You know what I mean? And they said, yeah. I said, listen, do you, are you guys drinking anything? They said, no, we don't have anything. I said, I got you. Now, I took them back to my car. Nice. And then I, I served some drinks. There was some Hennessy. Oh, shit. Boom. Read this. 
Read this. Read this is hilarious. Read what Mercenary Man just said. <laughs> this is great. I didn't mean to interrupt your conversation, but read that. <laughs> a bottle of honey is always a great way to make friends. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, I would agree with that. I anyway, continue. So, on. so then, um, watch. Well, yeah, I mean, you can't cut me off because I'm drinking. I'm tipsy. And I'm gonna forget. No, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, okay, so I brought them back to the car, and then we're talking. And then um, I, you know, I served some more. I served them some Hennessy because I had some cups ready. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I had some cups. I had ice. I had everything ready, B. And so, go and get them the drinks. And then I'm walking back. When I'm walking back, I'm looking at wifey. She sees me walking to her, and then she sees two shorties. I'm walking in the middle. I got one shorty here, one shorty there. So we're walking. Then my mm -hmm. wife looks at me, and then she starts smiling. You know, oh, but the smile that she gave me, I knew. She, she gave me this. She gave me a smile that I knew exactly what it meant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I smiled back, like, "Yep, checkmate." You know what I'm saying? So then we're there, and then we're having a good time. Like, you know, we had some drinks. We were drinking and just talking about about fucking, um, you know, what the fuck, you know, what the fuck we do, and you know, just, just you mm -hmm. know, and um, you know, we had a good time. You know, we had a good time, and then obviously they they closed at two o'clock in the morning. You know what I mean? I still had a whole bottle. You know what I mean? And then normally when I when I chill with people, like I said, I got a family at the crib, so I don't bring nobody to the house. You I saw you put that in the Discord, and that's cool that you go to. A I don't bring nobody to the house. So what yeah, we did was, good. what we did was there was this there was this hotel. You know what I mean? That literally right 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 next to uh, where I was at. So we went there. We figured let's go ahead. We'll finish the bottle there and have a good time. So mm -hmm. boom, went there. I had the um the um the uh whatchamacallit the bottle in the car, bought the bottle up, got the room, went up, and then um that's it. And we just started drinking and um having a good time. Yeah, you don't have to tell me all the dirty laundry. I get it. After the drinks, the motel, I get uh, I'm not an idiot. I know what happened when we hit the hotel and the drinks. Then uh naughty time uh, uh lasted for a couple of hours. We get it. So nah, man, nah, we went to the hotel I, 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 and, and um I hate nah, to be we just, nah, we went to the hotel and we were just doing Bible study. Yeah, exactly. I hate to be a nerd, but you got to tell me what's hitting bumps. I don't know what that is. Just tell me. Bro, they that? were doing, the, the girls were doing coke, bro. Oh, okay. See, I didn't know that. I've never done coke. I've seen people do coke, but I've never done coke. You yes. want to you wanna, you wanna hear a, a college coke story? So the, shorties, the shorties were a bunch of cokeheads. Which look, which, which are fine. I, no, I'm lying. I want to say a bunch of cokeheads because they were doing it. You know what I mean? Because you know some cokeheads, and these bitches were fine. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't judging. See, I've got, I've got a coke story for you. I didn't do it, but this happened. This is a real story. Scouts on, I swear to God, this happened in college. Me and a buddy went to a friend's party, and it was for her birthday. And she was in a, my friend. She was in a couple of my classes, and she started dating this new guy. They would rent a house. They rented a house, right? So. I thought I was just going to be like 30 or 40. We show up and she goes, oh, fierce. No, I meant when I throw a party, I throw a party. There's got to be at least 250 people going nuts in her house. In the backyard, in the front yard, everyone's going ballistic. And I get drunk, really drunk. Well, when fierce gets super, 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 super drunk, at least back in the day, I would go off and explore. I'm like, oh, what's in this closet? What's in this door? So I open this door and there's these four people in the bedroom doing lines of coke on this tray, right? And they're like, Fierce, get in here. Quickly shut the fucking door. And I, so I'm an idiot. And I'm like, okay. So I walk in. They're like, hey, Fierce, try this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not fucking trying that. I'm like, I'm good. They're like, Fierce, fucking try this. And I'm like, it's not going to happen, buddy. So I, as I turned to leave, my elbow bumped the tray and all the fucking coke hit the ground. And went, Fierce, that's like fucking $200 worth of coke. <laughs> And, and then I'm like, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm like, I'm leaving. So as I'm leaving, I open the door, I turn back, and I see those motherfuckers on the ground sniffing it off the fucking floor, dude. So you know they're upset. Yeah. If so you I ever laughing, I started laughing and go, you guys have fucking lost your goddamn minds. And then I closed the door, and then I went up to my friend, and said, hey, do you realize there's some people in your house doing drugs? And she she wasn't all for that. Like she didn't mind like getting drunk. But she's like, where? Where, Fears? I was like, uh, in one of your guest bedrooms. And she goes, oh, I'll take care of it, Fears. Because I'm a good friend. I was like, I don't know if you want people in your house doing drugs. But I didn't mean to hit their tray. It was an accident. 
But I just thought it was hilarious. They're like, oh, shit, fucking $200. And then they literally got on their hands and knees, like licking it off the floor, snipping it off the floor. And I just started laughing. I was like, oh, you know, listen, if if um, if you want a good experience, if you want if you want a different kind of experience. Well, I can't for you is different because you having sex regular. It's it's a, it's a it's a new experience for you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just you having regular regular missionary style sex for you is a new experience. But what I was gonna say is, if you ever come across some a shorty that's all coked up, you know what I mean, and wants to get busy with you, and she said, "Listen, can I put some coke on your dick and sniff it off?" That- say yes. No. Okay, you want to say yes because three things is gonna happen. Okay, one that shit is crazy as fuck. Two, it's too crazy for listen. No, I Two, do it. No, listen, no, no. shut the fuck up. I Two, couldn't do it. That shit feels good as fuck, and it's gonna numb your shit, right? Oh and three, God. you're gonna be going for hours and hours and hours. So I'm telling you, you know what I mean. When when I'm there, when I'm laying there, and I got a show to be like, hey, can I trust me? Just call me the yes man. Whatever the fuck you want, big yes. Oh, here we go. Mercenary man says, oh, what a party pooper. Damn, a snitch. You. Mercenary man, anyone would do that in that situation. I did not mean to bump the tray, but she's my friend, and she was my friend all through uh, high school, and I mean, I'm all through college, and I'm still friends with her. Any friend would be like, look, I don't know if you want some crazy maniac doing drugs in your house, you know. So I don't know what she, I don't know if she kicked him out, but I was a good friend and, and, and told them that's not really being a snitch. That's being a responsible human being saying, Hey, I don't know if you want <laughs> crazy Coke heads at your, at your birthday. That being, re- that being a responsible, t- uh, uh, that being a responsible tattletale. I wasn't trying to be a tattletale though. I was just trying to be a good friend because I was drunk as hell and I didn't mean to bump the tray. I would turn and accidentally bumped it. And that's crazy, son. It was pretty crazy, but the craziest thing was them on the floor, hands and knees, licking it off the floor, sniffing it off the floor. And that's the closest I've ever been to drugs in my life. I mean, it was literally from here to here. I mean, they, it was that close. Any other time you see drugs and stuff on TV, but I had never been that close, and they were trying to get me to do it. I'm like, fuck. I'm like, I don't do drugs. I'm like, I don't. No, mind. I've been, I've been with, I've been with some freaks. I've been with some freaks before. I don't yeah. mind drinking, but I was like, I'm not ruining my life. I'm like, I don't fucking do drugs. I'm like, leave me alone. I'm not fucking doing coke. But so. it, no, but you know what the messed up thing is that that it just uh, unfortunately it, it messed up for me to say, but it's just so much better with the drugs. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just you drunk. Know? You, and listen. Listen, ecstasy, listen, listen, ecstasy will have me going to the next day. I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? It's not my thing, though. I don't, I, I can drink all night, buddy. I, I, like, whenever I hang out with Vision. But, this is, but you know the thing is, though? Listen, but the tricky, the tricky thing is this, though. This is the tricky part, though. For you to do that, I mean, unless you're going to go do that and fuck around with some stranger, fuck it. Boom, right? But when it's somebody that if you have a girl... You have to do this. Whatever you do, she has to do. You know what I'm saying? So if you're on, if you're if you're smoking, she gotta smoke. If you're on white girl, she's on some white girl. If you are some Molly, she's on Molly. Why? Because it's, if only you do it, son, and it gets time to start fucking, bro, she gonna be like, nigga, what the fuck is wrong with you? Because it's gonna be doing it all night. I have the only thing I've smoked. My friend got me into him at a bachelor party. I've told you this story before. He was like, Fears, have you ever smoked anything? And I was like, no, nah, I'm like, I've just not been in the smoke. He goes, man, I got some great cigars. He goes, Eric's getting you know, married, which is one of my best friends in Missouri. He's like, have a cigar with us. I, I don't mind smoking cigars every once in a while because they were really nice, expensive cigars. And I was like, this is actually pretty good. So I've done that before. And then I've and then I've drank, but I've just drugs isn't my thing, though. It's just it never has been. But like I said, the next time, like when me and Visions and Pixel hang out, I'll be drinking until. We'll start at eight at night, and fears will be drinking until six, seven in the morning. You know, I can drink like a motherfucker. You know, just drugs isn't my thing, but to each so their own. You're gonna fuck around and sip some Molly in your drink, and then you're gonna you're gonna really get some pussy. Yeah. Oh shit! Well, there it is. There it is. Yeah, because you're not gonna be yourself. You know what I mean? You're gonna fuck around and be somebody else and be <laughs> faded. Next thing you know, you're gonna be like, what the fuck? You're gonna wake up. You got two bitches on each arm. You're like, what the fuck happened last you night? Know, like, I wouldn't want to be someone. I, I like being fierce. Uh, you know, like, like, I, like, I like being myself. I like myself. 
I'm just not as experienced as some other people. But I, I, I've been with some crazy girls. Did you hear about the story about the girl that threw hot candle wax on my body? She was trying to like, uh, yeah, that was, it was a crazy freak. And then one girl was like, hey, I want you to put your, your, your finger in my butt. And I was like, what? So then after you let her do it, what happened? We had sex. We had we oh, had okay. sex. So after she put her finger in your ass, you let you no, had no, sex. No, 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 no. She wanted me. Okay, cool. I like to know that. I, that's some good info. She wanted me to put. She goes <laughs> put a con. She goes put a condom. It's okay. I, it's okay. If you, you don't gotta correct it. It's I know. Okay. I'm just saying. Some women, was, some women, some guys like when the female puts their finger in their butt. I'm not that guy, but um, no, you know, that's you why can I take, corrected you can it. Take a finger. Yeah, it, I she she didn't put her finger in my butt. She wanted. She goes put a condom on your finger. And finger my butthole, and I went all right. Uh, she wanted you to put a condom on your finger and finger your own asshole. You're That's an idiot, was. man. You're an idiot. I didn't do that. She <laughs> wanted me to finger her ass. She said, "Fears, bend over, look in the mirror, and finger your own asshole. I want to see you, see you, finger yourself." That would have been some crazy shit, buddy. But that didn't happen. <laughs> well, buddy, I am happy for you on the big move, man. So I hope it all goes smoothly. Oh, man, me too. Man, me too. It just sucks, the whole moving shit. You know what I mean? Moving sucks. I just, I've been in here eight years. So that's the thing, though. That's Long why time. I need to buy. Because if I rent right now, when if I leave and I rent, that's it. It's a wrap. I'm going to be there for another eight, ten years when I could have just bought already. And I'm going to look back and I'm going to be like, fuck, I should have just bought. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to buy. And then my mom, like I said, my mom motivated me when she said, if you fucking buy... Uh I'll shoot you I'm not laughing talk. at you. I'm not laughing at you. You started telling your story, and then fucking Vision said this. Hey, Pierce, can we get Randy to animate that fucking story that you just told us? That's what made me laugh. I, was, I fucking lost it when he said that. You know what, Vision? I'll talk to Randy. We'll see if we can get an animation of that. That would be quite the animation, buddy. That would get me. You know how many views that animation would get me, LC? I'd be having. I'd, if when he would make that animation, I'd have a fucking billion views after that fucking story. An animated Pierce. Finger in some girl's butthole. There you go. Oh, no, nah, my bad. I was thinking about an animated fear looking in the mirror. Like, yeah, I thought you finger in your own butt. Oh! Yeah, I thought it was that one. I thought the, you got the female, you got the bed. Listen, you have a bed, and in the background, you got the bed, and then the female is sitting like this with her legs crossed with a whip, right? And then you are, you got a ball in your mouth, right? right? That would a hurt. ball in your mouth. Hurt looking in the mirror. Fucking, and then with a condom on your finger, fingering your own butt. That would hurt. That would hurt a lot. No, but I, th I thought that was the animation. My bad. Yeah, that, 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 would, that would hurt. Both of those would hurt, buddy. A whip? Holy shit. That would hurt. I don't know. Uh, that's what I would think about. I just thought that was... I'm into that dominatrix about. shit. Like, I know some people were into pain and sex. When that girl threw hot candle wax on me, I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? I got third degree burns on my chest. And then she, I remember she was like, oh, well, I was just trying to, like, spice it up and get you in the mood. I'm like, bitch, I've been sucking on your boobies for two hours. I'm already in the mood. You don't have to throw fucking hot candle wax on my goddamn chest. <laughs> I'm like, I'm already in the mood. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. I'm like, it's fine. I'm like, just don't burn the shit out of me again. I Damn swear. It, who, the fuck is, who the fuck is sucking on some tits for two hours? What the fuck were you trying to get out of there? Were you trying to milk her? Yeah, I was fucking milking. I was going nuts. I was going to town, buddy. I was having, listen, fears. Two was hours on some titties? Oh, yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, I mean, I normally go two, three, four hours on some pussy, but some titties? Listen, I was making up for lost time, buddy. I was getting in there. Yeah, all right? Each own, right? I ain't judging. Go ahead, you know. I was having fun. I was having fun. Well, I mean, we did, we did other stuff, too, but I concentrated on that for a good hour or two. It was good. But the minute she threw hot candle wax on me, I made Randall laugh at this story. Randall started losing his shit. I literally said it like this. I'm like, ah, what the fuck are you doing? Like that, because it hurt a lot. And then, yeah. she, and then she got nervous uh, because I, I said it kind of loud. And she's like, oh, oh, I'm sorry. She's like, I was just trying to, you know, spice it up and like get you the mood. And I'm like, I'm you're probably cool. watching that movie. She probably, she probably saw that movie. Um, it's a menace to society without drinking your juice in the hood. I, the, I, I, I don't with know. The, what, with, the, with the Wayne's brothers, when the fucking chick takes the hot candle wax and she puts it on his chest, he's like, oh, shit. She literally, like, she lit a bunch of candles, which, I like, I'm a real romantic guy. I mean, I always treat a lady nice when I'm in a relationship. She's like, 
all right, we got to get in the mood. I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm ready. Let's go. And she started lighting candles and she turned off the lights and she wore like this really nice, sexy outfit and stuff. And we're making out. And she said, all right, close your eyes, fears. And then this was after we, we did all the booby shit and she said, close your eyes. And I'm like, all right. And so I'm thinking, oh man, what's going to happen next? All right. I'm excited. She's like, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to do something. I'm going to spice it up a little bit. And I'm like, okay. And then that's when she went dung and just like dropped it on my chest. And that shit burnt. I mean, it hurt so bad. It was crazy, buddy. It was crazy. Man, it could have been worse. You could have put it on your nuts. I know. <laughs> yeah, that would have, ah! that could have been bad, buddy. Yeah, thank God it was just on my chest and not on my nuts. Like singed nut hair, man. That, oh, that would have been bad. I would have been, yeah, you know what I would have been like? I would have been like, bitch, I would have took that shit and then put it all over her titties. I'm like, bitch, you like that? And then knowing her freaky ass, she would have been turned on. Oh. Oh, oh, Lord. Look, look. Visions oh. just said this. Hey, Fears, it could be worse. She could have started choking Fears and had a dump on your chest. Yeah, thank God she didn't do that, Visions. Thank God. That's disgusting. That is dis that is some disgusting shit. But you know what? To each their own. You know, maybe Mrs. Visions and Visions is into that, you know, crazy shit, you know? Well, buddy, like I said, the offer still stands. If you want me to come over and help you move, I don't mind helping. So let me know. Yeah, that's you know, man. I appreciate yeah, it. You know, know what I mean? But um, you know, so far right now, look, so, so far today, I was cleaning up. Mm -hmm. I was cleaning up like the living room, the house, basically I was cleaning up the house because, and I was letting the kids know, I'm like, I start cleaning everything up. Now mm -hmm. is the time when you go, you're you going to start whatever you need, you take whatever you don't need, you put in a separate box and you, you know, well, like we I said, email, we throw away, whatever. Like this week, the earliest I have to go in is Monday. Monday, I have to be at work at two in the morning, the rest of the week, I don't have to go into work until three in the morning. So I don't mind coming in before, before work and helping you for a couple hours, you know, move each day. Just let me, just shoot me a text or give me a call. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know. But yeah, that's before. I know, I know, because I know moving is a, I know moving is a big, is a big pain in the ass. So just let me know, buddy. Yeah. But yeah. remember when you're not working, I'm working. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know? That is true, buddy. So I don't know when, like you usually get off around three or four. So, I don't mind coming after like three or four and, you know, helping you for a couple hours. So just yeah. shoot, shoot and me. Then, yeah. So then I was doing the cleaning and all that bullshit. And then I, that's not, I finished up and I'm like, fuck, I'm going to take a break. And then I'm just chilling here. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know. I might, I might, I don't know yet, but seeing how I remember, I already finished, I already beat the, all the Mario games nice. and everything. So I might, I'm thinking of jumping back onto some Resident Evil 4 remake. Well, that's good. I wanted to bring that up. And then, and then I'm going to end the stream and, and let you go, buddy. There's two things I want to bring up. One, Sam, he's trying to get his life in order and shit. And he's like, Fears, I still want to do game streams. But he goes, I want to get all my apartment and shit all done. So he said it's going to take him like two or three months. So he's like, you don't mind if we like hold off on video gaming for a while? I said, yeah, I don't mind, buddy. I said, take care of his shit. He's got to take care of his sister. And then his sister's cat just died. And so his sister's like really bumming. He's bumming. So I was like, take care of all your shit. And he's like. I want to see some gaming streams with you and LC. I was like, yeah, I'm like, we'll probably game it up until, you know, you want to come back and game. So I'll definitely come over someday. I mean, you can do on, do some gaming on Resident Evil 4 because I've been dying to play it. Cannot wait. So we can do that. And then the second thing is I thought you already knew about my contest because you were in the yesterday stream when I told everybody. Oh, yeah, no, now that you brought that up, I seen the video that you posted because, bro, I'm like, what the fuck is this guy doing? Now, I wanted to ask you about this, because I know you said something about it on the Discord. Now, first and foremost, I didn't know you were doing a contest. So what happened? You did a contest, and it didn't go good? What no, happened? No, here's what happened. So every so I – we Because you never mentioned a contest ever in none of your streams or videos. And then well, I, did, about I mentioned it in a stream yesterday. I mentioned a stream yesterday. Yeah, so, but yesterday – but, but I'm going to tell, tell you what happened. So I got inspired – by your by your contest and i said you know that's really cool that lc uh i had a giveaway not a contest or a giveaway so i said maybe i said I, I said he inspired me i'll do something different i said i'll do a contest and and i thought oh well people love doing memes about me i said all right i'll do a contest where people makes whoever has the best epic meme i'll give them prize so i said okay i said i'll have three different prizes like uh, someone that comes in third i'll give them like a ten dollar gift card the second one, I'll give them like a twenty dollar gift card, and then the and then the first one, uh, I said I'll give them some type of Marvel DC figure. I just don't know what yet. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go shop around. I'm gonna buy a, 
a, a, like, a, like either a statue or a, or a action figure that's like 50 or 60 bucks worth. And so Quentin and, and all those other guys were bitching and moaning that I wasn't doing it right. And they really pissed me off. So I canceled it last night. And then I thought, you know, I, I'm like, I'm not going to let those idiots uh, like ruin my, my, my content. <laughs> So I said, I'll just sleep on it. So in the morning, I woke up this morning and said, well, I want to follow through on what I said. Like, because I want to give back to my fans. Because we share fans, but I've got some fans that are just my fans. Then we share fans. So I just wrote in the Discord, hey, I'm sorry for losing my cool. The contest is still on. And then Tyler said, well, Fears, you probably should make a video and, and post all the rules. So I made a video, post all the rules. And then I typed up all the rules and put them in the Discord that Quentin's running. That's apparently mine, but it's not. But it's not really mine, you know. Yeah, I saw you advertising it. Yeah, but if it's not yours, why are you advertising it? Well, you know what? You know what? The reason why I was advertising is I've asked him 20, 30, 40 times to take it down. He's not going to take it down. We all know Quentin's going to do whatever the hell he wants, and that's what he wants. He wants to react. Are you freaky? Let me just bend over backwards. No, I'm not bending over backwards, but I've, I, I'm sick and tired of asking him. So I was like, all right, well, if it helps me get some subs. Then let me bend over backwards. It, you know, I'm like, he's not going to take it down. So I just said, well, if there's one, I guess I'll use it, you know. But one of these days, maybe I'll make my own, you know. I'm just not a – I've told everybody I'm not a Discord person. The only reason why I'm in a Discord is to, is to support your Discord. But I've asked yeah, him. Yeah, I appreciate it. And yeah. I've asked him forty times, or at least forty times. Take it down, take it down. Adam Bacchetti, he 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 really did. He goes, you know what, Fears? If you don't really want one, I'll take it down. He took it down, and then I guess Quentin was like, "Hey, can I have it?" So I was like, "You know what? I'm sick and tired of arguing with this guy. We're all trying to get along and be civil. I'm like, <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's not going to take it down, even though I've asked him a million times." So I just said, all right, well, the easiest way to do this contest is uh, I even put the video in in, in your self-promotion area, too. So I put it there in the self-promotion saying, hey, I made a video. Here's the contest. Here are the rules. And the rules are very simple. I'm like, just keep the memes. I said nothing sadistic, nothing crazy sexual, no KKK stuff, no Nazi stuff. But I said, make a funny, hilarious meme and put me in it. And I said, be super creative. And I said, let's have a fun, uh, fun contest. And I said, there's going to be three prizes. I said, you know, the runners up will get gift cards. And then I said, whoever has the best epic meme, I'll, I'll get them an action figure. And I guess they were just pissed that like, I didn't make like a promotional video and the right like, fears. You don't run it. And people were trying to tell me how to run my contest. And I'm like, I'm not an idiot. I'll run my contest the way I fucking want to run my fucking contest. Listen, bro, I want to tell you something, okay? So, but now the contest is on, and I gave everybody two weeks. So, I thought you knew about this, because I thought you watched the rest of the stream. So, yesterday I told everybody, and I told everybody in today's video, uh, I'm like, just don't knock off a meme in, in a day or two. I said, I'm giving you two weeks, so get real creative. The contest started today, t like today, and I said it ends on May 6th, and then on May 7th, after church, I'm going to do a live stream <laughs> The contest is over. Here's who won. Here's who gets third, second, and first place. And then after May 7th, I'm going to contact everybody who uh, uh, who won and get their addresses. And I'm going to mail them. I'm going to mail them the, the prizes. Listen up. I'm going to tell you something. I saw the video. I saw the video. And that's good. That, like that, that. You you had to do that from the get go. Just a separate video and at least minimum. Like I did. Yeah. You get two weeks. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. But minimum, get people a week. Like when I did it, I, I'm like, yo, I'll give you to next yeah, I week or whatever. Weeks. I but, gave and, that's, that's, and that's all good, you know. But because you did a video separately to let people know, I'm like, I throw in the Discord, I'm like, content. I'm like, what the fuck? Is, I didn't mean, hear no, no fucking content going on. And then that you were walling out. And then, listen, bro, I watch a lot of YouTube videos from a lot of YouTubers. Mm -hmm. I've seen there a bunch of live content. Yeah. I've seen recorded video. My, my dude, I've seen you. I, I I I swear, bro. Your videos are not videos like oh your video like 
like, bro, you like you doing the stream and then you got bothered because people comment on whatever bullshit. You are the only one, the only YouTuber I have ever seen that literally, 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 literally gives a fuck and gets bothered by fucking comments in the chat. That so bad, so much so, so much so that it'll ruin your own show. Here's no, I, no, I haven't like exploded. You, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that, like you have to chill. Listen to, listen to me right now, dude. Listen to me right now. I haven't, I haven't exploded on camera in a while. I got mad off camera last night in the Discord, and they kept giving me shit. Quentin's got a way of just fucking hitting the buttons. And I'll tell him, hey, man, stop it. Let's just be civil. And he just keeps on and on and on. And I can only take so much shit until I fucking lose patience. So it didn't happen on camera. It happened off camera. And I and I don't really give a fuck what he says. I really don't. But I just get sick and tired of all, but of, all of that. But listen, but literally all of that, all of that, everything. Even right now, the thing just saying like everything, literally. And no other YouTuber, and this is real shit. Listen. No other YouTuber talks about anybody. Like nobody Listen. talks about anybody. You know, no. and it, I, I've watched YouTubers that have that had issues with other YouTubers, and I've known the issues they've had. They've never directly named. They've never in bad mouth. They've never. You know what I'm saying? But you know, so it's just that. It, and then I see the shit. And it, I mean, to me, it's I laugh. Like I promise you. You know why? When I say you know why? I laugh out loud. I really laugh out loud. You know, I'm like I'll I see, can't believe because, this shit. Listen, you don't get as much shit as I do. They fucking torture me every single goddamn day. Everyone's got their breaking point. It's because they respect you. They don't give a damn about me. They don't give a damn about my family, my feelings, nothing. And I get sick and tired of it sometimes. And I'm like, I'm not a bitch and just bend over. I'm going to defend myself. It, it, it gets tiring, dude. And they've been doing listen, it for years. Just, just, just keep in Never. mind. Keep in mind, listen, for, uh, for my channel, I don't expect people to give a fuck about me, give a fuck about my videos. I mean, you know, give a fuck about, no. And not, not give, give a fuck about my, like, in other words, my feeling. Don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about all my feelings to how I feel. No, I want people to see my channel for the videos I'm putting. That's it. Not, nothing for nothing personal. Nothing for none of that stuff. You know what I mean? I don't care if that person. Listen, that person is subscribed to you. They're still subscribed to me, right? So at the end of the day, boom, they're still watching the videos. I don't care about what other stuff they gotta say. I understand what you're saying. I care about. The passion I care about, my passion for videos. I ca- I love my loving and loyal fans. You, mercenary man, pixel visions. But you gotta also know that people really, just like me, people really don't give a fuck about you. Like people really don't give a fuck about me. I've had I've had comments and all I that shit. People don't give a fuck about me. But you know what? They still watch my videos. They don't I give a fuck about me, but they're still watching my videos. So what does the that main tell thing you? Is, the main thing is it just gets old. They're bullshit after a while. It, that's the reason but why. You, I, I know, but you, you just got to know. And that, that'll that never stop. You know why? Because know. even even when the, it goes away, let's say, listen, even when it goes away and they, they, they stop, you know what? There's another wave of people exactly. doing the same thing. Another exactly. way. And then they'll stop. And You know what I mean? It, it's never going to stop. It just I understand, be, man. The only thing I can say is some days I'm really good at not letting it bother I mean, me. At the end of the day, you're going to do what you want. All I can do is just me, somebody watching somebody from the inside. Like I said, man, you should be entertaining for the wrong reasons. I and, 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 that, and that's Here's fucked up. Thing. Here's the know? thing. I, I haven't flipped out on camera in a long time because I hate it. I hate when I flip out on camera. I'll take the video down and then I'll watch it before I take it down and be like, wow. Like, I, and that's crazy. You think I'm going to be an hour talking shit, wasting my time, and then I'm going to take a fucking video down? Get the fuck out of here. Because the reason no why, way. The reason why I take it down is because it's embarrassing. But I, I've been I've been doing good. I haven't flipped out on camera in a long time. The last, flip out, crazy. The last flip out was off camera, and I just get sick of their bullshit. Dude, I, 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 listen, I understand what you're saying, and I really try not to let it bother me. I really do, but they just make it super personal sometimes, and they know what buttons to push. And I just get sick and tired of it. And then I'm like, all right, like, like I kid you not. If I ever met some of these people in real life. Shout out to Mackenzie, Mercenary Man. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Smash that like button. I'm telling you, like, 
they would be pussies if they ever met me in real life. Because if they ever, you can't see that. You can't talk like that. How are you gonna make things better and then call people a piece of shit? Like that's the thing. You 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 you're like, oh, I don't just stop with the names. That it is that it's little things like that. Like no, nah, I'm not messing with them no more. Fuck them. It's little things like that. Oh, I'm not. You know, it's little comments like that. Them. I'm not afraid of them if they're gonna. But there's no need to be. This is internet shit. But you at the end of the day, since everybody knows that you get bothered, hey, everybody. Yo, motherfuckers make are making discord for people to join to see the heroes of Vin I mean, I'm not here the, the, the fierce channel to see you bomb or fuck up. Like, that's not good for people to come I see. Know it's good. But again, I don't know what else to do. I've told that guy, Listen, it's, a, a ignore it. it's about ignoring it, my friend. Ignore it. Like, I, or like I said, I, 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 I ignore it as much as I possibly can. Look, and look, and I'm gonna be look, and this is like us on real shit. Like, and, and this is real. Like, I'm not I'm real, 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 real shit. I'm not attacking you. Listen, real shit, my friend. Not I'm not attacking you. Nothing. So I want to be relaxed right now and talk calmly. That way you don't. I really don't want to talk about this anymore, buddy. Yeah. I really don't. But but that's but you see but I can I see it in your face I'm letting you know because I'm at the end of the day it. listen I did I'm gonna end it now but at the end of the day that's why I told you when it came to the Discord I stood out of it you know what I mean because whatever yeah. whatever they say they have every right to whatever you say you know what I mean it's just about hey you know what I mean you 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 keep bringing it on you know but you know it is what it is it, it does but I just. Listen, as a friend, that's that, that's you're what I'm saying. You're not that's blaming I'm it all on me. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm going to stop that right there. You're not blaming it all on me. I don't bring it upon myself all the time. Sometimes I do. Other times, they dish it out a lot, buddy. I've asked that guy a million times, take it down. I don't want it. No fears. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. I can't tell that guy what to do. I've asked him a million times. Hey, you guys are grown. Hey, my friend, at the end of the day, it's all good. Hey, hey, listen, it's, it's, it's entertainment for me. I'm not lying to you. Like I said, I'm not lying to you when I say that you really be having me laugh out loud and it's really awful and I'm laughing for all the wrong reasons. But it's like, what am I going to say? I've talked to dude. You know what I mean? You, you can leave motherfuckers to water. You can't make them drink it. So let me just enjoy That's the entertainment. I understand what you're saying. And trust me, and it's I, all good. It I've been doing my absolute best to ignore it. But sometimes, like I said, I just sometimes I can take it. Other times I can't take it because they know what buttons to push. And that's the last thing I'm going to say about it. Oh, uh, yeah. I hear that's you. That's Everyone has their breaking point and they will not stop. They're like, oh, we'll keep it up. We'll keep it up. We'll keep it up until he fucking breaks. And they won't stop until, until I break. That's how sadistic and fucking crazy these motherfuckers are. They're that fucking stupid. Like, oh, if we push him enough, we'll get it. We'll get him. You don't you know? learn, my friend. You don't learn. I'm just saying. That, that's well, the you other. don't learn. You don't. You can literally, literally in the same. You literally, yeah. I mean, I mean, you, you're good. You're good. Like I'm I telling say, you the good. truth. That's what they you're do. Good. That's what they do. And again, I, I can only take so much until I'm like, all right, well, I'm not gonna let him say any more of this. And then I, and then I don't mean to lash out. It just fucking happens. I do my absolute best to ignore all of it. But hey, hey, but it's all good. But hey, I, listen, but other girls, since I know that you be getting bothered about it. I promise you, I will not mention it. Like the advice I'm giving you right now about this stuff that I've given you over a million times, I promise you that this will be the last time I give it to you. Because at the end of the day, it's, once again, it's just entertainment. You're still going to do what you want to do. And it's good. You know what I mean? It's all right. You know what I mean? It, 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 you know, but... You know, everybody's grown. You know, you're gonna do what I, you want to do. Yeah, everybody's I, gonna do what they want to do. They would be more mature because I try to be mature. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the show. Yeah, I try to be mature. I try to be mature in yours and in that whatever that Discord they have in mine. And they're just immature, and they always will be. That's why I hate bringing drama to your channel, and I try not to. And that's the crazy thing. Who they, they joins? Just love to just start a shit. Discord. My dude, who joined the Discord that you didn't do, that you're not in charge of? Just in general, even if somebody did that. Somebody does a LC, official LC Discord. It That's not me. Why I, the I, fuck I, am I, I going to join that Discord when it's not me? Who does yeah, that? I don't, I, I don't know what else to do. I've asked the guy a million times to take it down. So I'm like, he's not. He's going to do whatever he wants. So I'm like, so let, me, have, let me join. So let me join. What I'm saying is if I have a Discord, I might as well use it to my own advantage. That's why I didn't join. That's why I don't join it. You, I told him this I'm like, I ain't joining that shit. You know I mean, I, don't, I look at yours. I look at your Discord more than I look at that one. 
you know, yeah. like today, today I looked at yours about nine times and I looked at that one about twice and, and I posted that video on it. But anyway, I'm done talking about it. Yeah, it's all good, man. You know, but listen, good. I always appreciate the advice, buddy. It's just some days you have good days, other days you don't. And they just know what buttons to push and it is what it is. Like, it's like you said, it's never going to end. So I try to limit it as much as possible. So yeah, I love what Vision said. If Visions, if you do this, you'll win the meme contest. He goes, Beers, I'm doing a life-size painting of the X-Men having sex with each other for the meme contest. Oh, yo, you'll win, buddy. You'll definitely win. You'll win. A full-size painting. I like that other idea, Visions, that you said uh, the other day about uh, the Ghostbuster painting. If you did that and mailed me that meme, I'm telling you guys, Visions and Pixel have the best memes and they're gonna they're gonna uh, have everybody run you know they're gonna they're gonna give people a run for their money uh, on the contest. I, I'm 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 kind of curious, LC, what they come up with for the for the contest. That's good. Listen, that, and that was creative. You know what I mean? I feel, you know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. You want you want to know what I thought? Like the first thought, right? The first thought. I I I put the video on, and then I see like I see you say, oh. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm trying to get a giveaway, whatever contest. She's like, you know, I, you started saying, oh, I want to get back. I want to get back to my fans. I'm like, this motherfucker's taking my words. You well, know what I, I'm saying? I, I wasn't trying to make a carbon copy. That's no, why. No, I know, I know, I know. But at first, at first, like the first words. You get I'm a like, giveaway. Oh, I thought, all right, I'll I do a mother, I'm t I know. I'm telling you what, what I was thinking at the moment of watching your video, right? Yeah. I was like, oh, like. This motherfucker's taking my shit, right? And then I'm watching it, and I saw, you know, you, you switched it up, and then, you know, you did it with the whole three, and then you did it to a contest, and, you know, with the, but in the beginning of it, I was like, this motherfucker, you know, and it was funny, because the way you did it, you know, you remember, I said, I want to get back. My giveaway wasn't for a specific number. It was because of the fans, because I appreciate everybody that, that's been there and watched the videos, you know, and showed love. That's why I did my, you know, but when I was watching you, I just thought about that. I was like, this but then you switched it up, and it was cool, and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Just, so, I didn't steal your words. You inspired me because I was like, "No, and it was cool. It was cool. It was just it was it caught me off guard at first, like the first word you said." We're becoming like really, really, really good friends. I was like, I really like that LC gave back to his fans, and whether people want to believe me or not, it did inspire me. And I said, "Well, I don't want to do a carbon copy of what he did." I said, "I, I said I'll do a contest." And I said, I actually love memes like Pixel Visions, a bunch of people in the in the Hey, I was gonna tell you too. You they, said they that one of the gifts, one of the gifts was gonna be uh let's say one of the uh, uh, one of the figures, whether if it was a Marvel or, an or, figure, or, yes. or DC, whatever you give, make sure it's closed, brand new, and sealed. I promise it will be. Don't give nothing open because you know that they're gonna roast you. Oh, I know. Like I so regret buying a Blu-ray for you, and then and then going. I'm kind of curious to see how good this movie is. I watched it, <laughs> and it gave me a whole bunch of shit for it, which I don't think. <laughs> yo, I think yo, this movie. Every time I touch this movie, I have it in my hands. It makes me laugh. I laugh like that every time I hold this movie in my hands. It is funny, buddy. It is funny. Have you watched it yet? You got to watch it. It's a good movie. I've seen it in the past. Yeah, but I don't really, I mean, I've seen it in the past. I don't, I don't really, good. I, have, I have streaming, you know? I'll be honest. It's not as good as the first Punisher movie, the, the, the Thomas Jane one where he's in Florida or some shit. That's my favorite Punisher movie. Yeah, but the one with, uh, what's my call? It's it, Thomas uh, Jane. Thomas yeah. Jane. Uh, yeah, you had uh, John Travolta. Yeah, he played like a real, like cool, slick, like mafia kind of guy, and I love that movie. But I, but trust me, the Punisher Warzone, it's just a different take on Punisher. Like he's more tactical. Like the like the first Punisher, he had like a, a black leather jacket, and then he wore the T-shirt, you know, that his son bought him with the Punisher logo. This one, he just takes his tactical vest and spray paints the fucking uh, skull on it. And he does more with yeah, Dunn. but I like I like I like the uh, John Bernthal, the Netflix Punisher. Oh yeah, you know he's I mean? my favorite. My that's, favorite. That, that's my favorite right there. And yeah, I'm about to go to the movies on Thursday, so make sure y'all motherfuckers be on the lookout for a trailer re uh, out of the theater reaction. I'm gonna go see the Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume oh, I three. can't wait for that too. And I'll tell you, LC, it's it's funny that you brought uh, John that John guy up. He is, without a doubt. I mean, I love all the punch. Even the fucking 80s crappy one with Dolph Lundgren. 
Uh, he, he I've seen a, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the very first, he did a good job. They've all done a great job as the Punisher. But I'll tell you what, the coolest fucking scene that the Punisher that I've ever seen the Punisher in. He goes into that. Um, it, it was in. Uh, it, it was before they did a Netflix show of the Punisher. It was. Uh, he walks into like. Uh, 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 oh, what store was it? Uh, a pawn shop, right? And it was in. I. It wasn't in the. Was it in the Flash? It was in the Flash, right? Oh my God! No, no, I'm sorry, Daredevil, Daredevil. I'm sorry, Daredevil, Daredevil. That's my favorite scene. He walks into the fucking convenience store, and the guy's selling him a bunch of shit. Then the guy he walks out, or he's about to walk out, and the guy just starts getting really disgusting. He's like, "Hey, man, for fifty bucks, you know, I've got like, you know, I've got kitty porn and all this other crazy shit." And then it's so slick what he does. He just puts down his fucking coffee cup, grabs a fucking bat. Walks to him and he's like, hey, man, chill out. I'm just trying to make a buck. And then he just beats the fucking shit out of the guy with a baseball bat. That's my favorite scene. The other favorite scene is when he escapes from prison. You know that whole scene? Yeah. That's well, hey, cool. just to let everybody know that's in the chat, um, John Bernthal, a.k.a. the Netflix Punisher, he is now part of the MCU. So we are going to see him. They did, yeah, he did sign a contract, so... We have our, we have the Michael Cox, which is the, uh, the, um, the Daredevil from Netflix. He is now part of the MCU. We have the um, Netflix, um, whatchamacallit, Kingpin. He's part of the MCU. And they also announced now John Bernthal, Punisher. He is now part of the MCU. Would you so, say yes, we will have and also if you like Jessica Jones, um uh, uh Kristen Ritter, 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 whatever the fuck her name is, Ritter, 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 but whatever. She Jessica Jones, she's also gonna be part of the MCU as well. LC, uh they're all coming back. LC, uh uh Vision says Netflix Punisher Rock. I forgot about that one. Would you say that's your favorite Punisher? Because he he's yeah. my favorite version of the Punisher. He fucking yeah. kicked ass as the Punisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's my favorite they, one. I'm telling you, they need to make a movie version of John Berthenhall as the Punisher. I've met him at Comic Con. I got a yeah. Photo they photo. are. That's that's what I just said. He's now part of the MCU, so you're gonna see him. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they said that we're gonna see him in um, in the Daredevil because uh, you know Daredevil has the Disney Plus. It's gonna be on the Disney Plus. Yeah. Coming out, and it has, you meant more. it has 20, I think it's 18 episodes or 20 okay. episodes, one of the two. I thought you and, meant, I thought you meant uh, there was going to be more of the TV show. I didn't know they were making a movie. No, no, but it's the same actor. It's the same actor. Same actor, but, got it. Yeah, same actor, but um, they're doing 18 episodes for Disney+. Plus. So um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they said that John Bernthal, the Punisher, he will be doing his debut on that show. That's good. Listen, because... They can yeah. make as much fucking John Burton Hall Punisher as they want. He's like a real like man's man, like hard, like hard ass. That's what the fucking Punisher is. Oh, you kill my family. All right, I'm coming after all you motherfuckers. It's fucking on, you know. Like yeah, yeah. You put them, you put them together with like the Midnight Suns. You have you can have them together with fucking um Ghost Rider. Yeah, you can have them because you know, you know, you know that 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 the Punisher. Is fucking cosmic ghost? You know that the Punisher is a ghost rider. You do know that, right? No, I didn't. Not that I didn't know. Punisher <laughs> turns in to the cosmic ghost rider. I did not know that. Did yes, know. yeah. So technically, Punisher is the ghost rider. So you can have, uh, you could do the ghost rider together with. Mm -hmm. You could do a, a, a show with Ghost Rider, Moon Knight, fucking Punisher. You know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. They got this motherfucker coming. Um, Blade. Um, uh, uh, Black Knight, all of them. You know, well, he eventually becomes a superhero because you, know, you have powers as a ghost writer. I had no idea. I always thought he was just an anti-hero that knows a shitload yeah. about guns and karate and all that shit. Because he's a good anti-hero, you know. But I had no idea that eventually he gets superpowers. So that's pretty badass. I didn't know that. But yeah, look, wait a minute. That's pretty badass. Because Batman. Uh, to the fans and to LC, he's not a superhero. He's just super rich, and he just fights crime with all of his like gadgets. But he's still a good hero. He just doesn't have any superpowers, you know. Same thing with like the Punisher. He's kick ass. Like he, like 
he, he kills all the crazy, like, psycho people and, like, saves all the, the nice people, you know? He's one of my favorite. I'd say Batman is probably my favorite anti-hero, but Punisher, it's a mixture between the Punisher and Batman. I can't pick between those two, buddy. They're both fucking good. So, look. But yeah, Marvel, make as much of that shit as possible. I love me some Punisher. Oh, shit. Hang on. Let me zoom in on that. Oh, so, yeah. Like I said, man, I got shit that. So, the Punisher. Oh, fuck that we, yeah. Right? I've, that never we seen, all... I've never seen this. This looks badass. Damn. That's yeah, awesome. Like I said, man, I got collection behind. I got things you haven't seen. It, it goes deep. I know, but I haven't seen this one until now. That's fucking great. You know what this reminds me of? You know that fucking statue that was in my blog at, at our toy? That kind of reminds me of that statue in the yeah. fucking, uh, the, fucking uh, the comic book store. That's what it reminds yeah. me. Of. So this is it go. This is Punisher, regular Punisher, right? Yeah. Then That's fucking bad, man. Everybody knows this is oh. the regular Johnny. This is Johnny Blaze. Johnny right? Blaze, regular, reg, the regular Ghost Rider. Yeah. That's a pretty cool motorcycle. That's pretty badass. I like that. I like right? that it comes with a bunch of shit. Like, it's not just the figure. It comes with a bunch of accessories. That's pretty fucking badass. Then, the Punisher and Ghost Rider ha had a baby. Motherfucking combine that shit. And this is who uh, the Punisher turned into. Oh, Wow. I had no idea that he became. That look he, at his look at his chest. I saw it. Yeah, that's fucking badass. I've never seen this version of the Punisher. I had no idea that he turns into a Ghost Rider. That's fucking awesome. Because the Ghost Rider is kind of an anti superhero. Like he does have. Yeah, but the Ghost Rider is different people. You have Robbie Reyes. You know, which I, I is the it. Ghost Rider from the that, that's in the car. Yeah, you got Johnny Blaze, and then He's you the got this title. one. Yeah, he does the most. Then, then you got the old ass sheriff as the first Ghost Rider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I get it. But see, yeah, like no. Johnny Blaze and all the Ghost Riders, they're they're kind of superheroes but anti heroes at the same time because they only like like take care of all the crazy sadistic people and and like save all the nice people like an anti hero. But he is a superhero because he's got superpowers. It's just his powers come from the devil. Yeah, I got my shit. Even look, I got look at it. even Black Widow. Check out. Yeah, before you, before you go, yeah, buddy, I got, I, I got I got shit back there. Yeah, yeah. Before you go, show us some more shit. Because it's getting late. I'm gonna end this soon. Oh shit! All right, so I'm learning a whole bunch of stuff. I I knew about Black Widow, but I did not know that Black Widow cruised around on a motorcycle. That's fucking awesome. What you mean, bro? She quit in, in the Avengers movies, of course. Well, I mean, a lot of the a lot of the scenes she's walking around with like her guns and shit. Like, I know like there's a couple of scenes uh, on a motorbike, but I didn't know like from the comics that she always rode around on a motorcycle. That's what I'm saying. That yeah, is, I got a lot of shit, brother. Like dude, I said, I got a lot of shit. Pretty, all right, my favorite so far is the Punisher and Ghost Rider combined one. Oh yeah, the co he, he, that he's called the Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's that's I, I have to say that's my favorite figure. The second one would probably be just the normal the normal uh Punisher. But and I like how they did it. That way you know that he's the Punisher. Like like yeah, he's, he's, got the, he's got the fucking uh his logo on, on, on his chest. Like that's badass. His face. That's so awesome. I like the spikes on his shoulders too. Oh, yeah. The only thing that would make him more badass is if they gave him his leather jacket too, because the leather jacket that he wears is pretty badass. That's what's yeah. up, buddy. So when I move, like I said, these are things that's gonna be open. So now, unfortunately, I gotta pack all this shit up. Then when I move and go to the next studio, which it is gonna be bigger, then I can open everything up. I'll be doing unboxing, so all of you guys will be seeing me open all this shit. Well, I'll be honest. I cannot wait to see what your new nerd cave is going to look like. It's going to be a whole different setup. You're going you're to rearrange it. You're probably oh, yeah. It's going to be different. It's going to be a lot bigger. It's going to be gonna different. More, you're going to have more shelves and stuff. I can't wait to come over, and if you need me help rearranging stuff, I'll, I'll help you put it together, buddy. Uh, Mercenary Man, go ahead and read that, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> your Hulk statues. That's right. The Hulk statues. You got to keep yeah. Everybody remembers what happens to this oh. one. Oh, we all remember. 
We all remember. I saw it. I saw it fall down, and I was like, oh, shit. Hours of work down the toilet. Yeah. You I know what? Know Buddy, just keep it for memories because the second Yeah, I, I know. That's why I never threw it out. I never threw the it second out. One, it, the second it's the second forever one. on that live stream. The second one came out great, and you did a fantastic job painting it, buddy. It looks fucking awesome. Thanks. It's awesome, dude. Awesome. Big shout yeah. out to my friend, Elsie. Show him some love. Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube. Motherfucker, get on those TikToks, biatch. Yeah, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of the, all of you guys that have subscribed to the channel. Um, the channel has been growing pretty fast, so I really appreciate it. And buddy, um, I'm really proud of you. That's why I took your advice, and I've been trying to pump out at least one video a day, if not two videos a day. You know, I've been trying to really yeah, and like, and like I said, yeah, that's the thing. You want to make videos, and like I said, it's not making crappy videos. You want to make good videos. Oh, and I was gonna tell you this: try to make your videos. Like I said, I'm saying. Your videos are bad. Nah, try to make them a little bit longer. You know what I'm saying? Longer? Because sometimes you got some videos, and I'm like, man, it, fin it finished already. Like, depending on the video, sometimes you'll just it'll just cut off. I'm like, damn, he didn't. You know what I mean? Or, or you know what you do? You, why don't you do on some of the videos? Do an outro, like you're showing the video, and then record. All right, guys. Well, yo. Yo, like, like, you know how every time I do my unboxing, I mean, I'm sorry, my yeah. toy hunts, I'll do the toy hunt, and then it, the video doesn't end there. I'm here yeah. in the studio, and I'm like, all right, guys, well, yo, that was an awesome toy hunt, and bop, 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 and I'm talking to everybody, you know? So you should do that, too, for when, 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 you're having, when you're having those short videos, so that way you can give it, like, an ending, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, sometimes I'm watching it, and I it get phased off, and I'm like, yeah, I get it. What the you know? <laughs> sometimes I'll fade it off or sometimes I'll do like an ending credit where it says the end, you know, but yeah, yeah, I know. But that's the thing. But sometimes, you know, you want to at least thank the people. I right, guys, thanks for watching. And yeah, you know what I mean? And, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and all that shit. You know, and a lot of the, a lot of the fans have said, Hey, fears. We like the vlogs. The vlogs are great, but they said, make them a little longer. Like visions has told me. So I, whatever I can make the, a longer vlog, I do. Because they're like, hey, man, we're enjoying the vlog. And then all of a sudden, it's 12 minutes. Like and That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm saying. The video, you, 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 you're not saying that the videos are bad. They're not. Yeah. It's that, they're, they're short. Like, you know? Most of my fans like any vlog anywhere from like 18 minutes to 30 minutes. They're like, like a 30-minute vlog is like your full day. So I've been trying to do more vlogs, longer vlogs, more interesting vlogs, you know? Some but, yo, do that. Do that. Do... <clears throat> Like I said, things that's gonna help you out also, you're buying shit. Do the toy hunts, record. It ain't gonna help. You know what I mean? Like I said, that's 10, 15 minutes of footage that you yeah. can just put on your channel and just don't end it there. Get, get back home. All right, guys, yo, that was awesome. Went to, we went to Walmart, show what you got. All right, yeah. guys, thanks for watching. And you end it right there. Don't just fucking fade it to I'll black you, at Walmart. Some of my best vlogs are when I've went to like they love like when I go to tourist attractions. One of my best vlogs that they loved was when I went to this like hole in the wall tourist attraction on the side of the road. They love those. So another tourist attraction I'd like to go to. Have you ever have you ever took you and your wife and your kids to that kind of hole in the wall, that dinosaur world that's out in fucking like Tampa? No. It's it's fucking huge, but it's in the middle of nowhere. And I've and, and I drove I, I, anytime my buddy Jeff has a uh, has a toy con out in Tampa. You have to drive past it. You have to drive past it. I'm laughing because a mercenary man's comment. I that. Yeah, he should be charging the tip shit. Fuck you, mercenary man. You're fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah, let me give it. I'll give you ten bucks. Yeah, here's twenty. Here's fucking, here's fucking forty. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, that's that's great. 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 But did you catch my little cameo to mercenary man on the Christmas video? I went up into your bathroom. I was like, see, and now I know. I'm like, mercenary man. He dates a shorty. LC dates. Oh. Speaking of a video, you, you know what? In the fucking Christmas video, and Mercenary Man fucking loved it. Yo, speaking of videos, um, everybody, because I'm sure they still they still watch you. Um, to the dude and uh, Claire audience, right? They they were the ones that won the the last giveaway. Yeah, you know they, what won, I'm saying? they won in your giveaway. Yeah, uh, so they won the last giveaway that I did, and uh, shout out to them because they also they also watch you. And oh, um, yeah. I wanted to say that um. 
they did send pictures that they did receive everything and all that good stuff. And even Claire, I don't know if you've seen it. I saw uh, it. Claire audience did an unboxing video, which was really cool. I, I didn't expect that. I'll be honest. Even though he drives me nuts, I watched it and the video was really good. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. I really, I really appreciated the shout out, and um, you know, it was a really nice video. So I really appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? It was really cool. Mercenary man, I thought you said, I thought you said ages ago that you, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought you said that you loved that I mentioned your name and and that and I put you in the Christmas video. I could have sworn you said that. If I'm wrong, because we all know that Fears has a bad memory sometimes, then I apologize. I thought I could have sworn you said that, but. If I'm wrong, then I apologize. I thought I thought you loved it, though. I thought you loved uh, it. Yeah. But if you didn't, then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. No, I'm just joking, mercenary man. I don't think he cares either way. Like he, <laughs> he, he, He's more of a chill guy. He's more of a chill fan. He doesn't care if I put him in the vlog or not, Sam. Well, LC, well, God bless. I'm going to end it here soon because I, I got church tomorrow, buddy. Oh, and brother, yeah, do your thing. I'm going to be here getting fucked up some more. I'm thinking, oh, yeah. I, I don't know if I might do a, a toy chat right now and just get twisted here and talk shit. I or, mean, you're already halfway there. You know, I know, right? Or if I should go upstairs and get the PlayStation 5, bring it down, and set up the PlayStation 5, play some Resident Evil. You're already halfway there. Or do some drunk, do some drunk going nuts uh, Resident Evil, you know? Do some blizzies, do some drinking, and do some drunk uh, gaming. Switch it up, buddy. There's nobody here. I'm all alone, which is good. Thank God. I love, I love it. I love it when I have. I'm all to myself. You know uh, where's, 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 uh, where's the family tonight? Uh, at the in-laws' house. Uh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you got the place to yourself, be like, "What's up, bitches? What's going on? I'm drinking. I'm blizzing. I'm fucking gaming. Fucking boozing it up. Go, go nuts." Yeah, I need to take a break. I need to give my dick some rest because I got to do it all over again tonight. Ah, there it is. There it is. Well, I'm glad you had a good time last night, buddy. Uh, off camera, you have to tell me all the hilarious details. I'm not going to lie to you, brother. I was thinking about you last night. You know, an invite would have been great, but... Nah, I fuck you. Fuck you. No, fuck you, B. Because don't act like I want to... Don't act like... I'm joking. I'm joking. I, 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 no, I, I, No. Yo, my dude, yo, I'm about to come, I'm about to go out and hit up the spot. You want to come through? I'm yeah, joking. I'll be there in five minutes. Don't think, don't act like you would have just picked up and let's go. You know. I, I'm joking. I know some days he does invite me and I do come out. Other days I'm busy. So I was just joking. I know but you. Hey, but I was thinking about you, you and I was like, yo, you. I was thinking about you. I was like, man, I was like, man, if he was here right now, I guarantee he gets some pussy right now. I said, but since he's not here, you know what I mean? I'll just take care of the buffet myself. You definitely do invite me. You just didn't invite me last night. But he does. I was joking. I, you do invite me. Ten times out of 12, LC does invite me. He does. I was just joking. I was just playing around. Well, buddy, have a, well, have a good night. No matter what you do, whether you just go to sleep or if you do a drunk stream or you do a toy chat, whatever you do, I hope it's good. Yeah, man. Uh, so once again, B, thanks for having me on here, just talking some shit with you. Oh, Shout out to everybody in the chat, showing love. You guys can check me out if you guys are new. Uh, check me out. He was in Vince Collectibles. Elsie, right. before you go, I just want to say this. I always and I want to before I go. He 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 he, did, he says for me to say my shit. I say my shit, and hey, go no, before you go. Let me. I, I'm not leaving yet. Well, I forgot to tell you. I just wanted to say <laughs> how much I appreciate. I know I always appreciate all your advice. I don't take your advice for granted. I'm trying to get better at just ignoring that shit. It's hard sometimes, but I promise you as a friend, just man to man, I will do my very best to ignore all their stupid shit. But I, I, I take your advice and the fans' advice because they've told me half a dozen times. I, I do my best. Just sometimes they just irk me the wrong way. But I, Remember, I, I, I always say it to you in the Discord, brother. Hey, don't I will do my very best. the small stuff. Don't yeah. start the small stuff, B. All that shit is is minor. That shit is done. None of that means okay. nothing, B. I just want to say that that I don't ever take the fans' advice for granted. I appreciate all my loving and loyal fans' advice, and I always appreciate your advice, buddy. All right, go ahead and plug all your stuff. My bad. That's what's up. That's what's up. But all right, guys, you guys can check me out. Heroes and Villains Collectibles on the YouTube. Um, hey, I want to thank each and every one of you guys that have showed love and have subscribed to the channel. I really do. 
Um, right now we are at. <clears throat> sorry. Right now we are at. Um, what is it? Four thousand four hundred and thirty-seven subscribers. Oh wow! So nice. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys do. We do unboxings, toy hunts, mail calls, all that good shit. Um, so make sure to do. Also, if you guys want to see photos and pictures of the collectibles and the collection, make sure to hit us up. Heroes and Villains Collectibles, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and make sure to join the Discord because um, that Discord be wild. So yeah, I hear everything is that Heroes and Villains Collectibles. So yeah. So. As of today, what is is that what the sub count is is up to as of today? So as of today, right now, this very second, <clears throat> let me see. I'll tell you right now. I mean, we fresh. Serious, I, I want to know the exact number of right now, like today. Okay, right now it says, uh, "Keep it up. Your channel has gained three thousand nine hundred percent more views in the last twenty eight days." Yo, I hit over. Not I hit one point two million views. Wow. In my nice. channel. I am at, right now, I am at 4,437 subscribers. That's fucking awesome, bro. I'm so proud of you, dude. Like I thank said. You, and I want to thank everybody else that has subscribed and, and, and has shown say, me. LC actually said off camera that you're proud of me. My, 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 my channel is making traction, just not as quickly as LC's, but I'm making Yeah, no, I, I've, been, I've been checking your shit out, too. The, the stuff that you posted when you posted the marriage. Stuff, I know you gained, once again, not as fast as me, but I know you gained at least two to three more subscribers. Uh, I gained a, a way more than that, and then I gained a lot more when I went to the show. When I went to the show, everyone nice. saw me filming. I got uh, at that day. I got about probably forty to fifty new subs. Wow, it, it, it that's made, what's up. Because they, they saw me, they saw me filming, and they saw me filming. They know I always film when I go to Jeff's shows, and they're like, "Oh, Fears, I want to be in a video." Oh yeah, cool, Fears, you're filming for this show. I'll subscribe to you, and I'm like, "Cool, I'm much appreciated about that." So yeah, hell, that, yeah get, that's what you get them at. That's what you get. I get em. a lot of subs at the cons. That's why I try to go to as many cons as I can because. Everyone's like, sure, I'll help your cause. Boom, I'll give you a sub. It takes two seconds to pull out my phone and hit subscribe. Go for it, you know? Yeah, it said in, in the last 28 days, I gained 2,736 subs in, tw in 28 awful. days. So as of right now, I guess I gained one because someone's watching. On Fears Vlogs, I was at 1,315. Now I'm at 1,316. On the main channel, I'm at... 2,445. So we're making progress. We're making headroom. That's good. That's, but like I said, man, that's too much, man, to be managing two channels. And and I don't know. I, I don't I, I, like to me, I, 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 I just feel like I just want to focus on one. I like and, having two channels because my fans have said, Fears, no offense. I don't like your Fears Man 26 content. I love your vlogs. I love your streams. So I give a little bit of something to everybody. Yeah, but you can have all of that on one channel. I mean, look at me. Literally, I am Heroes and Villains Collectibles, and that's all I thought when I started this channel. It was just about toys and statues and collecting shit. My dude, my channel has evolved more than that. I do toy chats. I do Lego building shit. I do gameplay. And my my channel is called Heroes and Villains Collectibles. Not Heroes and Villains Collectibles and gameplay and fucking Lego building. No, no I get it. But it, it, it's evolved. The reason why I did it is a couple of years ago, a lot of people were like, Fears, you've got too much on your main channel. It's confusing. Is it a blog channel? Is it not a blog channel? I went, you know what? I'm really organized. I'm like, I'll just organize everything. I said, I'll put all of my best edited projects on Fears Man 26, and then I'll just make a vlog channel and just do – like my vlog channel is my goof-off channel. I love it, but I don't love it as much as Fears Man 26. That's that's where I – that's where I like – it's it, it it it's more of it's more of a passion for me. Fears Man Twenty Six, Fears Vlogs is more of a goof off channel. I you know I do my fucking podcast and do the vlogs, so that's the main reason why I did it, buddy. But I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. So yeah, I just like to organize it. That's what I'm saying. But anyway, I'll let you go, buddy. But man, all right, all yeah, hey, it's just blast. Um, always a blast. Yeah, man, what's it? Go. Once again, man, thanks for having me on. And just um, keep a lookout. I might be on, like I said, I might be back on on my own doing a, whether it's a toy chat or a gaming stream. But, yeah, most likely I might, I might be going on live tonight just mm -hmm. talking, talking some shit. I don't know. 
I might nice. open some. I shouldn't open nothing up because I gotta be packing shit. I can't be opening nothing well, up. I mean, what you could do is you could kill two birds with one stone as you're packing. Be like, hey, I'm gonna do an unboxing real quick on the live stream. That I'm shit like, makes no sense for you. I'm just saying, like for the live stream, like show it to them real quick and then pack it away, like you said you were gonna do. <laughs> That's what I, you just said you were gonna do. That you said you were gonna like do a live stream and show everybody your shit behind it, and, yeah. then, and then put it in the box. That's what I meant by that. He's like, I already packed these guys up. Because I'm sure the fans want to see all your shit behind the shelves and all that. Or I mean, I do. Oh, nice. I already packed these guys up. Oh, shit. That's fucking awesome, man. The detail on Mario and Yoshi. That's badass. Wow. Yeah, this I, is, I like this the background. You see the background? Mario Kart. LC, I had no idea you had this. You're showing a bunch of new shit. That's fucking awesome, bro. I told you. Next time we chill, that we we'll, I got to bring this. That way you use one, I use one, and then we're going to film a race. Oh, yeah. I, dude, I'm down. I am so down. Yeah, I want to get the Luigi one. They got the princess one. The toy. I'm gonna, it's really but shortly. I'm going to have them all. All right. Well, you know how much I love Mario. So dibs on Mario when we film that video. That's fine. I could be Yoshi. Dibs, I, I I'll be Yoshi you. until I buy my Luigi. I know you got to get a fucking Luigi. And I'm telling you, I love Luigi and I love Mario. But I kid you not, when I was at that GameStop, I begged uh, the person. I'm like, I literally, I zoomed in, Elsie, like this. I'm like, tell me you got some Mario shirts. And she's like, no, we ran out. She's like, I, she goes, I got some Yoshi and some and some Luigi shirts left. And I went, all right, well, that's fine. I'm like, I like Luigi too. I'm like, hook me up with one of those Luigi shirts. Because they have the exact, because they have the exact same shirt in Mario saying, like, I Mario'd it up or whatever the hell the shirt said. Nah, I like, the Luigi, I like the Luigi one better. Yeah. Because he said it in the movie. You yeah. just got Luigi. Yeah, and then she goes, oh, we just sold out like a day or two ago. I'm like, oh, that's fine. I'm like, I like Luigi. He's cool, too. Yeah, but don't be surprised. Do don't be surprised if you see me whip that shirt out one of these days on camera and show everybody. Do it. Do it, man. Like, when we vlog and, and go miniature golf and we'll both wear that fucking shirt. Yeah. We'll, Calm yeah, the we'll, fuck we'll, down. We'll, Calm the fuck down. I didn't say that. Now I ain't going that oh, far. Oh, we will. We will. I ain't going listen, that far. Listen, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. Fears is goddamn smoking. We will wear those fucking shirts. We will get drunk, and I will beat your ass in fucking golf. That's all there is to it. You motherfucker. It's happening. Fears is fucking smoking. I've spoken. That's right. But all right, my friend. Thanks a lot. Once again, for having me on. I'm about to go pop open another beer. I got to roll up another blizzy. And um, listen, I got to figure out if I'm going to do a toy chat. Open, listen, Elsie, look at me in the eyes. Don't just open up one beer. Open up a few beers and don't just smoke one blizzy. Smoke about eight blizzies. And then that footage will really be popping I don't know. Up. I don't know. Trust me, B. I don't, off camera. Oh, I, you know. shit. You're double fisting it. All right. There you go. Nice. I love it. I love it. Mercenary you know, Man says, peace, LC. You're the man. You are the man, buddy. I'm so honored to be your friend. All right, guys. Hey, make sure you guys have your notifications on. So if I jump on my live stream, you guys can just chill with your boy. And, and LC, uh, LC, I am honored to be your friend. You're you're one of the best friends I've ever had. You're a good guy. So I always appreciate you, brother. You too, brother. Hey, once again, don't sweat the small stuff and keep a cool head, my friend. Listen, you know fears what I'm about to say. I will do my very best. I promise. I'll do my very Thank best. Thank you. And hey, shout out to everybody in the chat. And I will see y'all on the Discord and on my live stream. So peace out, peoples. All right. Later, LC. Thanks, Thanks for again, Fierce. Thanks again, buddy. Hey, no worries, man. Anytime. Take care, B. All, All right. right, guys. That was LC, the myth, the man, the legend. He's a great guy. Show him some love. Hit up that Instagram. Hit up that Twitter. Hit up uh, the Twitch and, and the Discord. And if you, if you haven't subscribed to his Discord, just go to discord.com, right in Heroes and Villains uh, Collectibles. Bada bing, bada boom, you'll find it. Uh, let me catch up on the comments. Let's see here. I think I read everything that Mercenary Man said. I read uh, the Visions, Punisher 1. Da, 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 da. Let's see here. Mercenary Man says, I mean, the content between the two channels isn't that different, Fears. It's a little different. Not completely different, Mercenary Man, but I get what you're saying. It, it's it's a little the same. I, I And you know what? I'll be honest, buddy. I, I've been trying not to upload vlogs on Feeders Man 26. You know, I really have been trying not to. I've been trying to put new, interesting, new comments. I, I pretty much save Feeders Man 26 for 
of course, Fears Man car- cartoons, the, like the shorts, the one that I uploaded today that Randall gave me, uh, all the parody shit that me and Randy make or that I make or we do a collab on. Um, I love re-editing shit, and I get a lot of views on that re-edit shit, you know, and then, uh, and then, you know, and then all the trailer reactions and all that stuff. So I've been trying to make new, more exciting content, but, um, I appreciate all the loving and loyal fans. I, and listen, I meant it when I said it, I never mean to flip out. It's just as they've got a way of just, just dig it in the knife. But I do my very best. I, I never take your guys's advice, advice for granted, and I never, I never take LC's advice for granted. I just wish they would cut me some slack and just leave me alone, but we all know that's never going to happen. So I just have to learn how to deal with it, you know? So, because I know I, I read one of Mercenary Man's content. He's like, LC, we've been trying for years. And I appreciate I appreciate that the loving and loyal fans haven't hasn't given up on fears, you know? Because I want to do the right thing. I don't want to flip out. You know, I hate it. I hate drama. I hate when I'm like that. And I've been doing really good. I haven't flipped out on camera. I almost did the night. I was I was just about there. But I just said, hey, let's move on to a different topic. But thank God I did not flip out on camera. But I always appreciate your guys' advice and LC's advice. I, re- I really wish Quentin and, those, and Smash and those other guys wouldn't start shit. They'd love to start shit. But... It is what it is. Well, again, I can't force someone to take down their Discord, whether it's about me or not about me. I've asked the guy a million times. He won't take it down. I had a two-hour conversation with him. He's like, no, nah, fears. I'm good. And I was like, all right, well, I'm done trying. So it is what it is. So, yeah. Yo, Triple, what's up? You're a little late to the party, my friend. He says, did I miss the stream where you put up the tree? No, no mean tree. That is funny, though. Triple, I love how you are obsessed with these trees, buddy. But that's your thing. That's your thing. Technically, Triple, I did give you a recent tree on Easter in the vlog. I zoomed up on that plant, and I was like, even though it's a plant, that'll be a tree for you, buddy. That should be good enough. So kind of, but not really. There it is. Well, big shout out to Mercenary Man, Triple, Visions. LC, uh, who else is in here? Uh, 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 Pretend Stories, uh, Joy Boy, and uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, oh, uh, Chicken Wizard, Pixel. I appreciate all my loving and loyal fans. Uh, good luck to everybody on the meme contest. I know not everyone's going to uh, join in, but whoever, whoever decides to make a meme, uh, good luck to everybody. So you got two full weeks, and. Um, in between those two weeks, I will, uh, I will buy um, uh, the gifts, or the, uh, the, uh, the prizes. So, yeah. Trash Can Gaming says, what's up, Fears? What's up? I'm just about to end it, buddy. So, um, um, I'll stay for a couple more minutes. But um, I always appreciate all you guys. I, I, I've been trying to take LC's advice, trying to take more of your guys' advice. I've been trying to pump out more content. Hell. Hell, if I get one video out a day, great. If I get out two videos a day like I did today, great. You know, actually, well, no, technically I did three today. I did one stream, I did a stream for the vlog channel, and then I did two videos for Fears Man 26. So, like I said, I'm getting shit up faster. Uh, Jeff texted me today, and he's like, hey, Fears, what's up? He goes, I, he goes, I saw that you posted two videos. I said, yeah, I said, I've been trying to post things more quicker and i said what have you been doing he goes oh he goes, i'm rearranging my nerd cave and i was like oh that's what's up i said do you think you'll have it done before the star wars convention in like a week or two and he said ah he goes i don't know fears he goes maybe he goes listen because i know you want to interview me uh in the nerd cave he goes but i just want to make it perfect and i said i said jeff i said i've seen pictures that you've sent me of your nerd cave i said i want it to be perfect too i said rearrange it make it look fucking epic I said, you know that desk? I mean, not that desk. He goes, you have that table and chair in there? He goes, yeah. He goes, we'll just set the camera up. And I said, I'll have all my questions. And I said, we'll sit at the table, have all your nerd shit around. I said, it should be a good interview. I said, I want the fan. I said, I want more fans to come to your show. And and he said, oh, I I know fears. He goes, I always appreciate all your help. And I said, I know already a shitload of people come to your show. But I said, let's get as many fucking people come to your show. Because I said, 
Jeff, I said, uh, I've gotten so much content. I've gotten so, I've made so many cool friends. LC being one of them through your shows. I said, you are the best fucking convention guy in the whole state of Florida. I said, you put up 13, 14 shows a year. I said, and I can't thank you enough. So I said, the least I could do is give you an interview and give you some exposure and give you a couple plugs. And he went, fears, I'm down. He goes, just let me get my fucking, uh, you know, nerd cave all rearranged and we'll be able to rock and roll. So, yeah. So more epic content coming to both channels. But big shout out to all the fans. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. You guys are great. And listen, I know fears isn't perfect. Nobody's perfect. Uh, but I can only take so much sometimes before I lose my cool. But I will really try my best to uh, not lose my cool when it comes to those guys. It's like an art form to them. They they love pushing my buttons. But hopefully after they see this show, maybe they'll magically change. I doubt they will. But uh, one can hope. One can dream. You know, I doubt it, though. Uh, Pretend Story says, yeah, buddy. I try to put out as much epic content as possible because I do care about my loving and loyal fans. You guys are great. I appreciate all the subs and the views and the likes and and the, and the comments and all that good stuff. Trash Gaming says, uh, glad to see you doing good. I am doing good, Trash Gaming. The last couple of weeks have been great. The last couple of weeks have been, uh, everything's been kind of going my way. Works good. Going to go visit my family, you know, soon. It's going to be good. Uh, I, re I remember meeting you in real life when you were a security guard and you showed me your channel. Keep up the awesome work. No worries, buddy. No worries. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever go back to being a security guard, buddy. Um, I do miss it sometimes because there was a lot of downtime and I edited a lot of videos. But some some of it was crap and some of it was good. It all depended on what area you were in and what uh, what I was guarding. But I really enjoy my new job now. But yeah. Uh, fears you're on fire recently. Keep it up. Pr uh, uh, prayers. Yeah, I, I've been, like I said, Triple, I've been trying to take LC and the fans' advice and just upload as much content as I can because the only way I'm going to get more views and more exposure, uh, like on my TikTok, I've been trying to do at least two or three a week. And uh, last time I looked, I'm at 8,249. I was I, I was up to it, and then I lost some fans because I, I didn't upload any TikToks for like five or six days. So I went from 249 down to like 243. So I've just gained those fans back to 8,249. And then, like I said, I went to the show and got a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, the, new sh the new show that I went to, Mercenary Man, I'm probably going to like break up the content. Like uh, I'm going to take all the wrestling content. Because Jeff uh, did a toy show, but he like said, "Well, I'm always trying to add new shit to my 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 toy cons," and uh, like the ending part of the show, he did like four or five wrestling matches. I sat down, filmed all of it, and I thought, "Oh, I, I could make this a whole separate video." So I'm gonna be on the main channel. I'm gonna probably name it like Tampa, Florida Extravaganza Toy Con Wrestling, you know, and put that on as its own separate video. Then I'll put the vlog on the vlog channel. Then, uh, like just the blog, and then anytime I do the interviews uh, at, at the convention, I make that as a separate video too. So I get like three videos out of one day. So uh, before I go into work tomorrow, I'm gonna try and get one of those Tampa extravaganza toy videos up tomorrow. I'm gonna work. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna work on it a little bit tonight, but it is getting a little late. I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna have a little snack and catch up on some Z's, man, because I am. This work week, it was, it was, it, 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 we we were really busy this week. So I've been catching up on some sleep. Plus, it stormed all day, so I didn't really go out anywhere, and I just paid rent. So fears is kind of strapped on the cashola. In two days, I've got to pay my cell phone bill, so that's that's a little bit more, uh, less more cashola than, than I'll have. But you got to do what you got to do. You got to pay those bills on time. And I've been saving up my money, so I cannot wait. Visions for the uh, Lord Visions trip. I cannot wait to see my family. I cannot wait to play with Enzo, that big furry ball of energy. He is one of the greatest dogs I've ever had in my life. Uh, and he's happy. He's super happy. 
hopefully he doesn't chew up uh, the new bed that my mom got him. Because a couple of a couple of uh, uh, two months ago, two months ago, my mom sent me a photo and said, texted it. Enzo was very naughty, and you could tell that he felt real bad because you could see it in Enzo's face. And my mom's like, "Oh, she goes, me and Enzo had quite uh, the chat, John." I said, "Oh yeah." She goes, "Oh yeah." She goes, "She tore up his bed." And I said, "Well, those beds are pretty expensive, Mom." She goes, "Oh yeah." She goes, "She goes uh, for a while." I just put him in the cage and he got grounded and I was like, Oh, I get you mom. And she goes, hopefully he won't chew up the next one. And I said, I hope not. Heroes and villains says toy chat tonight. All right. So he, it's official. He's going to do a toy chat tonight. Like I said, big shout out to my friend, LC for coming on. LC. Thanks for all the advice, buddy. Thanks for always hanging out, looking out for your boy fears. Uh, same thing that the fans always looking out for me. And I know there's always going to be some sticklers that hate me, hate my content, always hate, you know, a haters going to hate. And Quentin's been hating for a long time. I tr always try to get along with him, but for some reason he hates me with a passion. I, I don't understand it, but he's going to always hate to hate. So it is what it is, you know? So even, even when I try to be civil, he it's weird. Sometimes he can be civil. Same thing with Joey. They do this flip-flop shit, and I can't stand the flip-flop. Either you hate me or you want to get along. Either cut ties or or just be cool. But it is what it is. I got sick and tired of asking him to, to, to take down the – yeah, because I really don't want a Discord, but it is what it is. I really try not to let him bother me, Trash Gaming. I, I told that to LC. I have told that to the fans. It just – they have a way of getting me down sometimes because they make it super personal and it's and it sucks. It sucks. You're a good guy. Well, I appreciate it. I try to be I try to be the best good guy I possibly can, you know? And I appreciate that all my loving and loyal fans know that I'm a, that I'm a good guy. Uh, just keep up the positivity. I appreciate that trash gaming. I appreciate that, buddy. I I can't thank you enough. You guys are great. I love my loyal fans. That's why I got inspired by LC's giveaway. And I thought, well, I don't want to do a giveaway. I'll do a contest. I'll do it a little differently. So I hope everybody submits a meme. And all the rules are on uh, in the Discord. So read the rules. There's not too many. I'm just keep it clean, have it fun, be creative, you know, and uh, meme it up. Meme it up. I I'm excited to see uh, uh, Visions. Because Visions is going the distance. He's like, Fierce, I bought all this painting shit. I'm going to paint a meme. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, Visions, I'm not telling you what to do. But if you send it to me, I'll definitely put it on the fucking wall, buddy. Because there's a few things that Visions has sent me for free. It's all it's all over the fucking apartment. Like, all, uh, not every single sticker, Visions, because I'm running out of room on my fucking coffee pot, buddy. The space is getting quite limited, but I've got at least two or three Exum Vision stickers on the fucking coffee pot. The rest of them are on in my closet. I have these plastic containers that hold all my hats and my belts and my belt buckles and not all of my shoes, but some of my shoes. And I've been periodically putting tons of stickers on it. All the free stickers that I get from the toy cons, I try to throw some of those on the fucking coffee pot and on the things in, in my closet. So, um, but I, I gotta say the coolest thing that I've bought from visions vision, I gotta say, I really liked, Oh, I didn't buy this. He gave me, I really liked the no sleep stickers that you got me. And I put one of those on the coffee pot. Cause it's very appropriate. You don't get any sleep. Will coffee will wake you up? Bada bing, bada boom. The coolest thing that I've bought. I love the shit out of that fucking, uh, um, Return of the Living Dead meme slash band shirt. Fucking tar man going fucking ballistic. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. That's probably one of the coolest. But the coolest thing that Visions has ever sent me, it's hard. Probably the, the Sleep Camp book, that's up there. The Crone shirt, that's up there. Mm, I mean, everything I, I've loved that he sent me, but... Those are some of my favorites. So visions, you you never cease to you never cease to amaze me, buddy. Thanks for all the loving and loyal support, you guys. You guys are fucking awesome. You guys are fucking awesome. 
Big shout out to Pixel, Triple. Everybody at LC's Discord, you guys are awesome. The dude, everybody. I appreciate it. Can't thank you guys enough. You guys are awesome. Well, anyway, have ha, uh, uh, do you have a P.O. box? I'd love to send you some. Uh, not yet. I've noodled around about it, Trash Can Gaming. I thought about it, but I'll be honest. I've told the fans I'm kind of scared shitless to have a P.O. box because uh, I just think it would get out of hand, you know? Like, I know I, I, I all the loving and loyal fans would send me cool stuff. Like, I, I wouldn't want any boxes. I would just love, like, fan letters, and I would read fan letters online. But I have some really kick-ass fans, so I know if I had a P.O. box, someone would send me something. And if anyone ever did, I would do a cool unboxing video. But I'm just afraid that the trolls would get a hold of it and send me all sorts of weird, crazy, demonic shit and... I just don't want to deal with all that hassle because I already have to deal with their bullshit. You know, heaven forbid I had a, uh, you know, a fucking P.O. box and then they send me all weird shit like blood and, hey, fears, I pissed in a fucking, bo- bo- in a water bottle. I just thought, I just decided to send it to you, you know, all that weird shit. So I don't know if I can handle all that shit, trash can gaming, but uh, yeah. But yeah. So I've, I've jumped back and forth. Uh, should I have it? Should I not have it? But maybe, maybe one day, buddy. Maybe one day. But anyway, I'm gonna take off, guys, because it's getting late. But uh, I, you know, I haven't done a long ass show in a while. We went for three hours tonight. It was a really kick ass show. I can't thank you guys enough. It was awesome. I, I, I had a blast hanging out with you guys. Is always a blast hanging out with LC. Is always a fucking blast. Anyway. Time for some shout outs. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my buddy, my pal, LC at Heroes and Villains Collectibles. Check out his Discord. You know, give him some love. Check out my buddy, Pixel, Lord Pixel of those pylons at Pixel Protocol. Follow my friend Visions at www.exumvisions.com. Buy some cool shit, like I always say. Why? Because Visions is a cool Epic, awesome motherfucker. Uh, subscribe to my friend Randall, Lord Randall, King of the Magic at Cameo Man 2021, and his second channel, The Mayor of Magic. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to Fears Man 26, the main channel, and Fears Vlogs, uh, this channel that you're watching right now. And if you get time, head on over to TikTok and follow me there at Fears Man 26. Anyway, Fears loves you, Fears cares about you. Have a good rest of your guys' weekend. Mrs. Fears, signing off. Peace, deuces.